What is up, Affected, and welcome back to SCW. It's been a little over two weeks since we've seen some SCW action, and tonight we get to see the Holiday Tag Team Championships defended tonight. The reigning champs, Lethal and J-Dub, will put their titles on the line against one brand new team tonight. Last time these were defended, they were successful and retained the championship in an epic battle. Uh, but tonight, it's all back on the line again, and the way we do it here is all 49 SCW male superstars are put into a random draw. The teams are randomly made right here in front of your eyes, and one of these teams will take on the team of Lethal and J-Dub tonight. Uh, what is this SCW stuff? I uh, know it's been a long time. Uh, bring us nerds. Yes, indeed. Uh, we run the holidays. Lethal, Jigsy, and Dan. Da, 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 da. Uh, you have this game too? What's going on, Stitch? Alright, so here we go. Uh, random number generators, the same thing goes. It is alphabetical order until we get to the last couple because those guys were added later. Um, but alright, so let's let's start making it. Random number generator says the first one is 34, so our first entry is Profit. Uh, Del reverse love. <laughs> alright, so let's find, uh, let's find Profit. And of course, um... The champs will be out of it. They're not allowed to compete as uh, new tag team partners. Hello, everyone. It's great to see you. Glasses can be sexy, Delve. Not you, nerdy. I'm talking about little French lady. True, 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 true. All right, so let's find out who Profit's tag team partner will be. And it'll be number nine, number nine, which is DMK. Damn, there's your first teammate right there, Profit and DMK. Uh, glasses are super sexy. Not on me. All right, so our next man is 34 again. All right, come on, dude. Eight. Wow, this thing is ridiculous. Uh, number eight is Delic. Uh, howdy, walrus. That's right, that's right. All right. There, of course, is Delic right there. And Delic's tag team partner will be 47. And 47 is Twisted Sense. Twisted Sense is actually a former SCW Holiday Champion, which is, oops, what the, f oh, damn, I messed that up. Now I got to put Profit back in. Uh, it's been a while since I played. Apparently, I didn't click it. All right, so it was DMK and Profit. All right, that's on me. Not Mailman, Profit. There he is. Uh, Dead Road, I wanted the kitten home, buddy found. He won't let me keep her. I'm super sad. Don't be super sad. Mandrell, thank you so much for that follow. Uh, yeah, there you go. Streamlabs hooked me up. Thank you very much. Uh, Twisted can catch these nuts. That's right. Uh, Mandrell, thank you very much for the follow. Uh, really do appreciate it. All right, so let's make our third team of the night with a mixture of... Is that 30? Wrong way. 37? 37 is Retro Mortis. I thought it was Profit again. 37 is Retro Mortis. Uh, uh, there he is. Uh, yes. All right. And his tag team partner will be 33. We are hugging all in that. And 33 is actually Paul Floyd. All right. So here we go. Our next team will be 43. We just did 43. Oh, no, we didn't. 43 is Sunday Heat. Whoa. Say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Say hallelujah. Australia is fishing? <laughs> Australia is fishing. What an amazing name. Uh, what was I doing? Sunday. Um, hi, mate. Please pop into our stream one day so we can promote and support you. I like the name. Uh, keep up the good work. What do you do in your show, man? I'm very curious now. You got, you got me curious. Curious like a cat. That's why my friends call me Whiskers. All right, and uh, Sunday Heat's tag team partner will be, well, that's 50. We don't have 50. Will be, come on, bro, 33 again? All right, this thing is broke as a joke, dude. 15, there we go. Finally out of the damn thing. Uh, heist, Mandrell tournament mode is OP. Love this mode. I wish they had it in universe mode. I have never played universe mode on here. Is it? Is it good? Uh, number 15, which is actually Fizz Kid. And Fizz Kid, there he is. All right, and then our next team will be 
36, which is Red Walrus. Uh, broken number generator. Dude, it was. It was really broken. Hopefully, we'll get back on track here. All right. Red Walrus. I guess that one will work. Yeah. All right. And Red Walrus's tag team partner will be 51. No, we don't have 51. Number nine. We, we did number nine. That's DMK. 23, which is Joey. Joey Undead. There he is right there. All right, and then our next one will be 39, which is Sea Chicken. I wish I could just delete all the other stars and just keep mine. That would make it so much easier. Uh, <laughs> all right, and then next we've got his tag team partner, which is 19, which is... GQ Smooth. Ooh. There he is, GQ Smooth. It's okay, but I think the tournament mode is better. Uh, you turn on damage. Oh, that's awesome. That's awesome. All right, and then we've got four more people, two more teams to go, and then we are finito and ready to rock and roll tonight. All right, and our next one is seven. Seven is Dan Frode. Jizzbot. Thank you very much, Jizzbot. Dan Frode, and his tag team partner will be 42, and 42 is Showtime. Wow. Um, there he is, right there. It it moved him. Uh, yay, Dan! Um, everyone performed this sign, and it went out without a hitch. Look at that. Everybody's winning some points tonight. All right. And our final, final team tonight will be... It says 46, which is to Kalki. I wish you guys could see the numbers. It'd make it a lot easier on me. Uh, there he is. To Kalki. Sorry, I missed seeing you, Red. Yay, Red! <laughs> All right. And then his tag team partner will be 12. Wrong way. Jay Duba Duba! How you doing, DMK? And 12 is. Fallen Angel. All right. So, random, I demand a rematch. Uh, random number generator has granted these tag teams as who will fight for the holiday championship tonight. And without further ado, let's get it on. If I can remember how to get it on. It's been a while. All right, let's see. Ooh, I didn't know you could do this. Maybe we'll change a little bit later. All right. And here we go. Uh, J Dub, we about to kick some ass. It's true. It's true. J Dub and Lethal are the current holiday champions here in SCW. Let me uh, let me get back to my normal schedule programming here, so we can uh, get the chat moving. At least on my end, looking here. All right, here we go. Uh, I demand this. I uh, demand a transgender championship battle royale. <laughs> you said random pick generator. Yeah, it, I have an. I, don't, I can only stream on my PlayStation right now because I don't have a computer that can withstand and hold the the thing. So I just Googled the number generator and I was using it, but I wish it would be up here so I could just uh, randomly select the character rather than a number. But again, future stuff. Uh, but how was your uh, how was your Thursday, Mandrell? Hope the world treated you right and well and all that jazz. Everything good in the world. V twin, what's going on, V twin? How the hell you doing, my man? Yeah, how's everybody's day? How's everybody's Thursday? It's almost time for the weekend. The freaking weekend, and we can all feel like Delve tomorrow. V twin, you your V twin broke your puzzle. That's true. That's true. V twin did break my puzzle. Uh, hit her up with the cheesy pickup lines. That's true. All right. So if anybody has any cheesy pickup lines, direct them at Delve right down there. Delve pants. Make sure you do. So Dizzy, did you like the nipple tassels? I love nipple tassels at any point during the day. doesn't matter if they're in a comic book or on the uh, J-Dubs naked skeleton bodies. Yeah, I have to work tomorrow. It's going to suck. Uh, I get to see Captain Marvel on Saturday. Yay! Sounds like you're bragging, PlayStation. It's okay. Just long work day, 12 hours. Been there, done that, sucked a lot. Do you have to continuously work 12 hours, or do you get, like, 
um, just a 12 hour day today and like an eight tomorrow? Are you off tomorrow? Like what's your work schedule? Is it like a banana? Um, but one more week and I'm done with that stupid job and stupid customers. Whoop, whoop. Um, is that a keg in your pants? Cause I want to tap. Damn. <laughs> Keep bragging PlayStation. Uh, cause I want to tap it. So I might stream tonight. Awesome dude. Uh, bring in your hanky, you, you'll need it. Damn. All right, here we go. Teams one and teams two coming to the ring. You can check out Delic Lifestyle right on YouTube. Man is an old school skateboarder. Um, from back in the day, he's a streamer. Vinyl Life, uh, so much amazing music comes out of that stream. Artists you never heard of with, I mean, it's very, very awesome just to be able to throw on a record and listen and just jam out. Make sure you check out Delic on YouTube. The Grand Tour game has an update. Sweet Leroy Black Spidey. How you doing, my man? Welcome back. How's life treating you? You ever going to level up on Division? You're going to lag behind. I am not getting on Division. <laughs> Off on weekends only work Monday through Friday. Damn, it's still 12 hours is a long damn time, Andrew, though. Cops have given up. If you guys want to play the heist game, boss game, any of that going down. Uh, I can't wait to be like a normal adult and have weekends off. What's it going to feel like? You're going to be able to adapt? What's up, peeps? up, Trance? Delix Tag Team Partner is the reigning PlayStation champ and former holiday champ himself, Mr. Twisted Sense. The dude has got the skills to pay the bills tonight, man. If I got to put money... I gotta put my money on Twisted Sense and Dele. Ooh, Dan gives hearts. Nobody else talking to PlayStation, bruh, but you, he, at least play the game. You, he, at least. Yes, you, he, at least, indeed. Uh, good to see you, Trance. How's life going for you, man? Check out Twisted Sense on YouTube and right here on Twitch. Twisted Sense. Twisted going down first. Damn, DMK calling his shots early, early on for some damn reason. And don't worry, this is the only time these entrances are going to be that long. We will we will be a-skipping uh, soon. And from Minnesota, in Team mate for number two right there is DMK. I'll make sure of that. Damn. Let's see. What was that? I found my grandpa's harmonica from when he was in the Vietnam-Korean War today. That's awesome, dude. Make sure you hang on to that. Put it in a safe spot. But that is DMK. He does stream right here on Twitch. He's the Dark Magic Knight. Uh, you should put your money on the Canadians. We like the exchange rate. Super joke. Uh, bring bring one, bring all, Lethal C5K, and I don't care whom we face. I also found his ammo box, too. That's awesome, man. Why does your just have to bring out your girlfriend to the ring? Damn! Profit Next Gen, that man is a streamer on YouTube and Twitch, and in SCW lore, he was the Galactic Champion for a while, dethroning the Red Walrus, uh, held his own right, former Tag Team Champion as well. Profit can get it done, but can he meld with DMK when it comes to Twisted and Delic teaming up? Who says it's a huh man? What? Uh, I'm doing a Raw vs. SmackDown Men's Championship tomorrow. Do you do the actual, like, um, actual, like, real wrestlers, or do you make your own? Uh, la la la, sing a dirty song. La la la, wrestling all day long. Who wants some of me? Everybody wants some of heroes. Woot woot, talking about heroes. What's going on, heroes? How you doing, man? DMK with turn around that reverse chicken wing right there. Got it locked up on Delic. DMK, I do believe, is the tallest in this match. Oh, atomic drop. We're starting out hot and heavy tonight. 
Uh, oh, Red Walrus going with a thousand for this heist up there. Make sure you guys play the heist game, trying to get some more of them jizz bucks. Nerdy Randy English is the greatest entertainment ever. Nailed it! Um, this may be the first time I've caught a wrestling stream. What's going on, Gimme Booze? How the hell are you doing, my man? Not too good. What is going on in the... I, I can't pull out a couch tonight, heroes. I don't have the capability. Uh, but what's going on, man? Feel free to talk. Big knee to the face of DMK. Felt it all the way up there at Minnesota, eh? Uh, what's going on, Gimme Booze? How was your Thursday, man? Oh, Prophet with a flying forearm right there. Who man? Who man? Who man? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, Fallen's angel has descended from heaven to grace us with a duck face. <laughs> What's going on, Granny? Oh, Prophet goes for a quick taunt and twist and makes him pay fast. Fallen's angel putting my money on putting my money Canadian on DMK's direct damage. Red cards and his blue counters. Damn. Talk about hurting my brain. Uh, real wrestlers, but in universe mode, I have... Shit, that's moving fast. Um, I have all women create wrestle universe. 54. Hell yes, dude. I have 75 all built by me. I, I missed something. Cable Vision. What's going on, Cable Vision? It's been a long time since I've been here. My wrestling persona name would have been Hobo... Hobo Sapien? <laughs> Oh, man. Uh, good to see you, Cable Vision. I love that, Gimme Booze, man. Uh, hobo, that's fantastic, dude. Uh, pulls out a couch, throws a Jupiter on it. There, heroes talk. See? Gotta, gotta read what Lethal's saying. Uh, hey, Dove, hey, all. Oh, that's right. Looks like Prophet's trying to work on Delic, but Delic's come back with a high knee. We gotta, we gotta focus on the action at hand because the holiday championships are on the line tonight. Tosses him against the ropes. Big kitchen sink. Uh, look at that. Uh-oh, money from the vault. Yes, look at that. Perfect. Hero's mom in a half shell. Hero powers. Pulls out the couch. Throws a Jupiter on it. Now talk. We got the gracious presence of Lethal hanging out with us tonight, so we have to take all advantages of it. Oh, the referee got caught in a profit cross stream right there. Turns around on Twisted. <clears throat> Gonna send him all the way back to the evil corner. DMK, the Dark Magic Knight, coming out. Off the ropes, double team action, big stomp to the face of Twisted. DMK called his shot early on, says he's going to stop Twisted in his tracks. Can he do it? Can he do it? Twisted already holds a current championship, former holiday championship as well. Tag and Delic back in. How many tournaments do you have tonight? I just have one tournament and then the finale match for the championship. So it's like, I think it's seven matches, something like that. Just found out by, hang on, let's see here. I just found out by my old man, his neighbor, that, just found out by my old man, his neighbor, that my grandmother passed, your grandmother passed away? Uh, oh no, what did I miss? Norvell Rogers. To what do we owe the pleasure of the Norville Legion coming in here? Multiple punches to the face of Delic. Big stomp to the gut. DMK trying to hold true. DMK is yet to hold SCW gold. He would love to walk away with some championships tonight and prove all the naysayers wrong. That magic is cool. Double team action. Big boot to the face to Delic. Man, I'm so sorry about that, heroes. Big flying forearm right there. Between. DMK's hugging heroes while he's whooping ass in this ring. Um, yeah, no, indeed, man, indeed. That does that does suck, but hopefully we can uh, at least distract you for a little bit. Snapmare takeover right there. Big kick to the back. Profit showing twisted that DMK wants this win. <laughs> it's not that Profit wants it. It's that DMK wants it. That's the thing about it. No! Baseball sliding forearm, and the crowd is booing right now. Going to try to snap Twisted's wrist. Crowd is booing. Um, if Magic was cool, Side Sheep wouldn't have a butt full of Wanda's. She can hear you. <laughs> she demanded it to be brought inside the, the, the screen, you know, like... Like, that, that evil stare is for you, Gimme Booze. Twisted sense, dazed and confused. Prophet coming around. Bam! Big kick to the face. 
and the crowd is up. Profit off the ropes, big senton right there. Uh, show twisted some sense. Damn, PlayStation Bro using puns, and Twist is gonna smartly tag in his partner Delic. Her butt would be filled with, with cardboard crack. What? Uh, I should have that PlayStation Championship. Uh, I can count on you. Guys. This is you can count on us and Jupiter to always be there. Uh, Heroes, have you upper decked any toilets today? Uh, yeah, you should, dude, but you just outperform. You just could not perform. You had a chance to go for the Galactic Championship, and you fail. Big knee right there to Profit. Profit currently part of the Postal Prophecies tag team with him and the Mailman. Now tonight, he's separated just for tonight. Uh, Magic the Gathering is also Cardboard Crack. Well, that makes a little bit more sense. Double team action. These guys are perfect together. Profit and DMK are definitely displaying a better packed, um, packed strategy than Delic and Twisted. So will the actual team process work? Oh my! Wow! Delic takes DMK to the outside and then spears Profit through the ring ropes to take him down. No, but I'll upper deck my old man's car. <laughs> I will do it. Do it right now. Film it. You got to film it. Put it on, um, what's a dirty website? Pornhub. Yes, this is for all my fans out there. I am now upper decking a 1998 uh, beige sedan. <laughs> Twisted leg takedown. The referee's still counting. The two legal men on the outside. Up to seven on the outside. We can get a double count out. Oh my God, DMK off the ring rope, ring post. The cops have given up. Delic knows he can't beat DMK with a count out. What about, I don't know what that is, what is that? Oh my God, Delic is bending DMK in half. The referee is now getting down there. Look how far back DMK is being bent and he does not tap. Wow, what a submission. Side Sheep still eyeballing you, Gimme Booze. And she's eyeballing me now. Look what you did. What was that? Delicate Prime Real Estate to be able to tag in and twisted. DMK looking bad. Story video images of porn. Really? No, a 2012 Pigot. I don't know what a Pigot is. Um, I would say Heroes Translate, but... Um, Delve, translate what Hero said. Uh, weird question. Is it rude to ask my stepmom for a keepsake of my late dad because I don't have any? Absolutely not. Bam! Record breaker! Record breaker to the back of DMK's head. Twisted Sense ready to pop on in and stop Profit from getting the breakup, and he doesn't. Twisted Sense not in the right way. Uh, oh my god! Twisted Sense just rock and rolled Profit into the damn hospital, up, over, and out. Delic trying to put away DMK again. Um, absolutely not, Delve. It is 100% in your right to ask for something. And a lot more. Uh, just you wait until my post my promo on Instagram. Twist is going to be scared. <laughs> it's something that's been in my family for years, and I'm scared she won't give it up. You punch her in the twat, and you tell her Jizzy and the rest of the nerd circle said give it up. A good twat punch will settle people right. Oh, double team action. Twisted. Oh, my God. Delic working perfectly. Northern light suplex to DMK into a pin. Profits not even in the general ballpark. And DMK kicks out. Damn. Uh, Dev, thank you so much for the host. I didn't get the, the sign, though. Why didn't, I, why didn't I get that? That was weird. Thank you very much, Delve. Maybe I was just yelling at the time. Who knows? Uh, Kay just messes her. We'll find out if she's a biznatch or not. Yeah, you... Oh, my God! Profits got twisted in that that crazy thing, trying to take him out. The, where's the referee at? I was looking at something. Oh, there's the ref. Delic is down. The DMK is down inside the ring. Profit and Twisted tearing it up. DMK still alive. Woo-hoo-hoo! <laughs> Uh, did you mean heroes? What did I say? I can't punch her through 
I can't punch her though because that's like a nine hour of driving to do that. I don't know. Seems worth it to me. If she's not going to give up something, this seems like worth a nine hour twat punch. Uh, WQ1019, add me Michael Hoffman 90. That sound that does sound like a wrestler. Oh, and then two count right there on profit. Did you mean Pergot Heroes? Oh, look at you, Danny, doing some damn uh, investigation work. Profit got twisted in a bat. Oh, twisted reversed it into a face buster. The back and forth in this opening match. Twisted going for it. Got it locked in. Twisted's erotic embrace is locked in. The submission is locked in solid. He has won multiple championships with this submission move right here. Is Profit going to tap? Profit does not tap. Well, anyone up for a road trip if she doesn't give it up to me? Need partners in crime. I think you got at least 15 to 20 people. Uh, J-Dub has got a Jeep. Oh, Delic going to roll in for that pin. One, two. Wow, are you kidding me? Twisted does all the work, tags in Delic, and then he just walks over, pins Profit. DMK is so dazed and confused that he can't even go over there and break it up. Record breaker right there. That is That right there, that move is why DMK was unable to move. Just that record breaker, his head hit all the ropes on the way down. 2,000, damn. <laughs> Delve's road trip. Look at this. He didn't tap. Uh, not days. Just chose. Not. It's not cheating if you break up the pin. That's not a cheat. That's called winning. I'm, I was trying to give you the benefit of the doubt that you had a concussion, but whatever. If you just like too lazy to walk in the ring, that's fine. Boo! That was rigged. Twisted paid off the ref. What a cheap champion. <laughs> PlayStation Pro. <laughs> So advancing in the Holiday Championship Tournament will be Twisted and Delic. Am I right? Am I right? Yeah. All right. Up next, we have got the team of Retro Mortis, Paul Floyd versus Sunday Heat, and the ever-changing... This kid. Uh, hey, poor God, so don't deny. Uh, grats, guys, on the win. Yeah, it's it's all random, man. You know it is. Check something here before I get this. Uh, no, Retro Mortis was almost the king of SCW. Almost, like that close. It has begun. Uh, PlayStation, have you checked? Um, have you checked how many uh, jizz bucks you have since you're hanging out? Fizz person. There you go. You're right. Fizz person. Have you checked how many uh, jizz bucks you have? Exclamation point points in the chat. If you guys want to see how many jizz bucks you've earned, you can play the games. Eventually, we're going to be able to learn how to cash them in so you guys can actually spend them and then we'll do something fun the show or whatever. Uh, there you go. Wow. How are you down to 24,000, Red? You've been doing some crazy shit over in the chat. Uh, time for another fun, fun fact from J-Dub. I added you. What'd you added me? Uh, booty points. No, no booty points. Uh, am I fighting tonight? No, you did not get chosen. It was just a random draw selection, man. Points. Uh, wow. Almost 2,000 jizz bucks. Make sure you play the games, man. That's how you get it up. Delve 8,000 jizz bucks. Uh, see how it says unranked? I'm going to be working on getting that. Um, and that way you guys get ranks for if you have like 5,000, 10,000 or whatever. I just haven't got, uh, sorry guys. Got to go. Oh, all right. Norville Rogers. Appreciate you guys stopping in. It's great to see you as always. Hopefully you have a fantastic night and we'll see you very, very soon. Points. 13,000. Somebody had like 43,000. Was it just Dan? Uh, Jizzy, you don't pronounce the, what? You don't pronounce the T in Purgat. You know what? I'm a grown-ass man. I can pronounce whatever I want. If I want to be a knife or a herb, it's going to be a knife and a herb and a Purgat. Tell me out. Tell me otherwise. Come on. This is 2019. Do not assume my language. Uh, points. There we go. 15,000. Boom. The rookie retro mortis. <coughs> I need to get a gaming laptop. Me too. Buy me one while you're at it. Or a Who-Man, see? 
Retro Mortis is the rookie in SCW, and he climbed almost to the top in the King of SCW Championship. He was just one match away from being the King of SCW, but in the end, it was Joey Undead, who's actually fighting later tonight, that ended up claiming that crown. But Retro definitely put a stamp on the world with those matches. Add me back on what? Uh, I might try to import a Pagat. You need to do that, V-Twin. Do it and tag J-Dub in it and then call it a Pagat. Retro wanting to make a bigger statement tonight by claiming SCW Gold. If anybody in the world needs to be cheered on in the craziest way possible, M-O-N, Mount Paul Floyd, Mount, Mount Paul Floyd. Paul Floyd also a rookie here in SCW, trying to make his mark. It's kind of fun that the uh, that the rookies are teaming up. Paul Floyd hangs out at Bass Pro Shop more than any grown man should. Dell. Gaming laptops are bad. Desktop parts are replaceable, not so much with laptops. See, DMK kind of speaks it. It's pronounced per God. Yeah, I, I know it's pronounced per God. Mom, Paul Floyd, see, Red Walrus gets it. The French car makers are coming back to the States. Oui, oui, oui. I thought in your general direction. Paul Floyd's got a long ass entrance, but you guys get what's going on. Ooh, feisty. At Royal Payne, Sunday Heat was granted the number one contendership for the Galactic Championship. He is also considered a rookie in SCW, and he also came that close from claiming SCW gold. But when it all came down to brass tacks, Moneymaker was just a little bit too good for him. Sunday Heat claimed that number one contender spot but could never get the belt. Tonight, him and the reigning Canadian Beaver champion could claim the holiday championship. What do you guys think? No got, bro. Joha. Your autocorrect is broken again, J-Dub. Try to figure it out. DMK, a gaming laptop is better for traveling than a desktop. Yes, that's the point of a laptop. But if you're going to be stationary such as somebody who would call themselves a homebody, then you would want a gaming PC rather than a laptop. But that's fine. Let's not just put all the facts out there. Let's just say things that are factual, like air is good, water is should be drunk clear, whatever else you want. No, that's what I wanted to say. Sure. That's why I'm buying a laptop and building a desktop. Wow, that seems like double duty, man. a man gay? What was that? I need to check what his thing is. But yes, he is the first member in this tournament that is part of the World Cup here in SCW. He is Fizz Kid and he is for Team Europe. Morrison Paul should be the Rooks. Uh, yeah, well, Sunday Heat technically is a rookie too. Fizz Kid's the old school guy. That's why he has the title around his waist. Fizz Kid and the Multiverse. <laughs> that could be its own spinoff show. All right, here we go. Ooh. Retro and Sunday going to start it off. Um, look at that awesome belt. Canadian Beaver belt. There's a quick tie-up. The Whispering Sweet Nothings and the ref is going to break it up. Paul Floyd fixing his pants because uh, he forgot to wear underwear tonight. Fizz Kid now trying to shout random Fizz Kid expressions through uh, through the air right to Retro Mortis, confusing him even more deeply, or perhaps it even confuses tag team partner Sunday Heat. Quick tie up, rolling around. Retro cannot. Neither one of these men can seem to get the up, upper hand on this. Delve, let us know whenever you get some feedback from that. I'm very curious uh, if she's uh, she even responded to you or just kind of blew you off in general, like just skip the text. 
Quick lock up, Retro trying to get on top of this Sunday, not gonna let him. What's going on, Ali D? Good to see you, my man. Oh, what? Wow, big cross chop sends Retro right to the floor. What is underwear? Dan, it takes too damn long to explain, but I'll give you a hint. Um, it's kind of like a thong. It has begun. Uh, keep my belt warm and clean, Fizz. No scratches. I'm coming for it. Yeah. What's going on, Dark Smiles? What's going on, my friend? Good to see you. No word from stepmom. Uh, like, who doesn't respond to a message right away? I don't know. A lot of people, especially if they see the context, because you can, like, pick up your phone and see what it says without actually really answering it. Still here. Prove it. Uh, what's good? Uh, was good, was good. Good to see you, Dark Smiles. How's the gaming going for you, man? Oof, yes. Uh, hey, when that happens, yes. Um, doing good, watching Age of Ultron. You've seen it before, right, Allie? Retro! Oh, misses the kick. Sunday Heat sidesteps it. Uh, Streamlabs, that's all right. Watch this with. I need to add more to that. I, I should have done that last night, but I didn't. All right, I've got to move this back, because I, when, I, when I lean to the side, I want to still be on camera. Fizz Kid perfectly close lines retro taking him down. Fizz Kid, the reigning Canadian Beaver champion, part of the World Cup Europe team. He knows what he's doing. To be selected for this team, you have to be the best of the best. Fizz Kid knows that he's the best. He's the champ. Uh, yeah, just watch it again uh, before end game. That's a good idea. Big snap. That's right. Uh, wait, what? How do you know I game? Dan Frode told me, uh, I don't respond to messages if I'm busy or sleeping. I don't answer, but if it's a phone call. Well, don't you don't want to call about that. That's going to turn to something bad. Delve, how's the wine and or liquor tonight? Dan who? Dan Frode. Dan Frode of Nordheim. Fizz kid, big elbow, taking a retro. Mortis is being rocked in this. Coming from a man who was one step away from being king of SCW, he should seriously be more on his game right now. Lord of the Rights, no, Lord Nordheim, Fizz Kid, gonna try to turn him up. Uh, the drinks are the best. I feel amazing. What are you drinking tonight, Del? Uh, according to some video, that Iron Man is the real villain. <laughs> now, not Fizz Kid, Dan Frode. Oh, getting rocked up. There it is, right there. Dan Frode, Dan Frode. Rum and Coke. What kind of rum? You drinking the good stuff? You drinking the good, good? Oh? I had a few vodkas. What's a few vodkas, Allie? Uh, I watched Infinity War today, so it will be fresh in my mind for Endgame. Oh, yeah, man. Like, watch. there's there's a couple you need to watch. Just because the big setup. Uh, Age of Ultron's a good one because it has that little brief flick of Thanos in it. And there's another one, too. Um, Guardians of the Galaxy is a good one to watch. Captain! That's right. She's a Captain. Everybody's a Captain. She's Captain Dalv. Uh, give me a, give me, what was it, I, A, Y, hashtag A, Y, E, Delve, hashtag A, Y, E, about four vodka, four vodka bottles, Paul Floyd doing more damage to Fizz Kid than Retro Mortis could, Retro's down on the outside, Sunday gets tagged back in, uh, me, Dan, you, Dart, what, kick over, uh, Ant-Man and the Wasp, Ant-Man and the Wasp is a good one to watch as well, that one sort of, uh, definitely leads into it. Ah, right, there we go. Delve is now a Scottish pirate. Arr. She's drinking a Cotman Coke. She's got a little hat on. She's Delve. She's wine, hair, cotton hat, and Delve. And she talks like this for some reason. Paul Floyd doing some serious damage to Sunday Heat. Uh, four vodkas and Coke. Those don't go together, Allie. Get a Pepsi. Get a Coca-Cola. Get a RC. No, 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 no. Vodka does... No, oh, sorry, I went the wrong direction. Vodka does not go with Coke. Um, my guy, honestly, you have very good talk. Whatever the word is, um, it's called um, word vomit is the actual thing. I, I basically just spew until I can't spew no more. Ew, I can't drink vodka and soda. No, I can't either. I, I was... I was The commentary, yeah. I was talking about the wrong thing, man. I was thinking, like, Coke for some reason. But no, vodka doesn't go with dark. You gotta do something like orange juice. Oh my God, Sunday Heat pulling out all the stops. Taking down Paul Floyd from the top. Retro, just watch it too. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. Um, it's a secret. Shh, Dev, what is that? What's that? Uh, vodka and Coke is uh, black Russian. Still gross. 
Uh, cola was all I had. No iron brew. I bet iron brew goes great with vodka. Gonna have to try that sometime. Someone who speaks well and are able to keep people entertained with their conversation. Uh, charismatic, indeed. It's the glasses. The, the glasses is what does all the, the charisma. Uh, vodka and seven up is good. Agreed, Trance. Uh, you get promoted to the head of the class. Going for the pin again. Two. Woo. Paul Floyd is on the fence. He needs to tag out. Get Retro back in here because Sunday Heat is wiping the floor with Paul Floyd. Hashtag glasses. Yep. Heat the chic, baby. I need to, uh, needs to be one. All right. All right. You guys, you guys call the match while I'm doing this. Gonna tag in Fizz Kid. And the Canadian Beaver Champ is back in. Heist. Make sure you guys get your heist in. Paul Floyd rocking and rolling on the Fizz Kid. Uh, let's see here. Heist 1000. Uh, I said okay. Oh, Fizz sending Paul for a ride. Dropping him right on the back of his head. Uh, show 1000's a limit. Uh, vodka and cherry vanilla Pepsi is good. Ugh. Fizz Kid staring into nothing. All right, hashtag glasses is up. Fizz Kid got him in that arm bar. Paul Floyd in a dangerous way. Paul Floyd might have his arm broken. And he does. Fizz Kid, Sunday Heat, advance. Guy's stepmom said she'd look for it for me. Yay, I might get it. Yes. That's awesome. That's awesome. I prefer moonshine. Well, that's better. All right, I'm out. You were just—you just got here. Where are you going, Dark Smile? You can't leave without telling me where you're going. Listen, what happens if you leave this chat and all of a sudden you vanish? They're gonna come to me and be like, "Hey, where's Dark Smiles at?" I'd be like, "I don't know. They he didn't tell me before he left, you know." And then here I am. I'm gonna be with one on the hook, so I don't know where you're going. I need to know where you're going. Uh, it's an old fly fishing rod that's been passed out of my family. Don't tell her that. Just say you want the fishing rod. Go get it right now. Uh, what are you, my son, dad? Yeah, that's it. I, I, listen, I don't want to be on the hook. You need to tell me where you're going. Like, that way, the last whereabouts of Dark Smiles was he was going to bed. He was going to take a, a bath. I don't know what you do in your spare time. All right, uh, glasses is a hashtag now, so you can play with that, Delve. The strip club. You're not going to the strip club. Who goes to a strip club at 9 o'clock at night on a Thursday? I mean, maybe ballers, but there we go. Geek to shig, baby. That's right, that's right, that's right. Uh, Nerdy does snap, what? Nerdy does snap to dark smile. I don't know, oh yeah. Uh, money, baby. So Fizz Kid and Sunday Heat do advance in this tournament. Fizz Kid applied that arm bar. It was too much for Paul Floyd. Not of a for real, though, uh, playing some grind or grit, some grid too. That's awesome, my man. Uh, geek glasses? No, no, no. It's just, it's just one glasses. Um, you should have went for the head. That's right. So there you go. Um, semifinals is set up. It will be Delic and Twisted Sense versus Sunday Heat and Fizz Kid, but we've got Red Wallace and Joey Undead versus Sea Chicken and GQ Smooth. Heroes, what are you doing? What are you doing, Heroes? Geek to chic, baby. He went for the butt. Yar. It's true. It's true. Bite those apple bottom jeans. Boots with the fur. Um, do you have the Thanos glove? Well, it's not a toy. It's an action figure. And yes, I do. It's right there. <laughs> Who goes to a strip club in America? Our girls take it all off. Oh, that's that's true. That's why we want to go there. Uh, it doesn't have any batteries in it, though. I, I took the batteries out because I didn't want it to... Um, I didn't want it to corrode in it, but I do have it. That's for asking. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Red hands. Uh, I'm in Canada. We must. Whoa, whoa, whoa! That thing that that flew by way too quickly. Uh, let's see here. Texting with Amber Nicole. Huh. Um. Let's see here. 
Red Hands. Let's see here. I'm in Canada. You're in Canada, Dark Smiles? I didn't know that. Uh, that's what I meant. Um, how'd you do that? So question. What? What's so question? I despise Fortnite. Fortnite is fine. Fortnite's a fine game. I just can't play it. There we go. Uh, <laughs> ha ha, you all look. Two for flinching. Uh, but Pop called The Drift Seems Awesome. What? Isn't that hypocritical? I, I am so lost. Joey! Joey! <laughs> Joey. Rock on, bro. Like, tubular Joey Undead's here, yo. If you guys have not subscribed to Joey Undead like here on Twitch, you seriously need to go do so, bro. Like, wicked awesome, bro. Like, totally tubular. Um, let's see. <laughs> uh, that's right. All right, we got to get this. Uh, we got to get the volume back up here. Drums. Is this turning you on? Look at that finger action, man. <laughs> Reed Walrus, the taxing is time to be done for. He's got things to do like whoop some ass and get some holiday championships. <laughs> DMK, I do it. Um, let's kick some ass and by we, I mean you. While I'm out. All right, dog, man. I appreciate you hanging out, dude. It's great to see you. Good luck on the grind tonight. Good luck on kicking some ass. Are you gonna be streaming it? Vroom vroom, V twin, boom 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 boom. Uh, make a fist bump with the glove, boom. I've done it before. Uh, it's on IG. Ladies and gentlemen, not only is that man right there the reigning paperweight champion of SCW, but from now until next year, you will have to call him King Joey Undead. Nope, uh, pain in my neck hurts. Hey, I had that last week too, man. It's still a little tinge there, so I know how you're feeling, man. The leg wearing man, uh, those are skin tight pants they're painted on. I'm going to start my stream in a few. All right, V Twin, hell yeah, man. Make sure you guys check out V Twin right there at the bottom. That is King Joey Undead. He won the King of SCW tournament at Royal Pain. Couldn't think of the name of the damn pay-per-view. And I haven't gotten around to putting the crown on him yet. I do apologize. I, I've got to get to doing that. Censored version is on IG to see the uncensored full glove sub of... Yeah, that's true. Showtime uh, Showtime knows exactly what's going down with that. Uh, write that down. Too sweet. What's going on, sir, pizza? All right, hang on, hang on, hang on. Ow! Wolf pack is back. I got a crown, too. Man, this is going to be the best king undead. What do you want to be? Do you want to be King King Undead, King Joey Undead, or King Joey? You get to choose. What do you want? I have eight minutes until the update is done. Well, hang out for eight minutes, man. Yo, Dan Frodo Nordheim. Hand up. Surpr Let me surprise you. What do you like? Besides, you know, magic and butt stuff. Sea Chicken is a one-time Canadian Beaver champion. He would love to claim some SCW gold tonight. Tusk, Tusk. Joey the Undead King. <laughs> King Undead works for me. I like King Undead. We'll, we'll go from that. Um, if we got time, we might even design it tonight. Uh, greetings and now the effect and all you nerds. My lord, my liege, my lord, liege. What is going on, King NorCal? Good to see you, my man. How's life been treating you, King NorCal? What up, King? 
Sea Chicken trying to get stuff done tonight. Can he defeat the team of Red, Reed Wallace and Joey? This is actually the first member of Team USA part of the World Cup Series going on in SCW. That's right, he is GQ Smooth from the Fo Show Show. You can check out the Fo Show Show on Twitch, on YouTube, on Mixer, on all those other media points. Uh, Instagram, they have it all. The Fo Show Show, Operation Hug the World. Uh, rebuilding America, United Framing Carpenters, you got to check them out. Uh, this one man trying to change the world, it is that man right there, GQ Smooth. So much respect for him, for what he does and what he tries to do, the positivity that he tries to, tries to, uh, tries to get out there to the world, and he is basically the leader of Team USA. Hello, my king, I need a job from you. Uh-oh, King NorCal is uh, being asked... Uh, to give a job to heroes. All hail the king of kings. Oh yeah? Started off hard, sea chicken. Probably the only man in this match who can go toe to toe with Reed Wallace. Red Wallace, former galactic champion. He's climbed to the top, oh my god! Gonna toss him over. Everyone wants to see Kurt Angle uh, versus Cena at WrestleMania, not Corbin. Yeah, nobody wants to see Baron Corbin anywhere. It doesn't matter if he's on Raw, SmackDown, NXT, um, uh, Ohio Valley Wrestling. Nobody likes a Baron Corbin. And it's not because he has a bad look. It's just that he's not a very good wrestler. He's not a very good mic skill guy. He's just kind of bad at it. And the fact that he's taking on, I mean one of the greatest wrestlers in history at his final match, it's its a swerve. I'm telling you right now, it's a swerve. I'm calling it Leroy, write it down, clip it, whatever you want to do. Angle's last match at WrestleMania is not Corbin. It's going to be a swerve. It's going to be Cena. It's going to be The Undertaker. It's going to be something big. Shawn Michaels, big snapmare coming from Joey to GQ Smooth. Joey feeling the frisky fire. He doesn't even know what to do with all the energy he's sticking out there. Joey might have celebrated a little bit too quick. GQ Smooth got some energy back. Team USA captain. No! Flips around. Joey DDTs him. Uh, slay the Cyclops. He dwells near the Northern Pass heroes. I need a dispenser some rage on some trolls. <laughs> there you go, heroes. Take care of that troll at the passageway. Uh, that Red Bull kicked in at the wrong time. Watterson, I see you there, bitch. What's going on, Jay Watterson? Good to see you, my man. How's Wednesday going for you? Watterson! <laughs> Everybody defaults to Freddy. Freddy's ready. <laughs> Watterson! <laughs> Speaking of that, make sure you check out Freddy's Ready right here on Twitch, YouTube as well. 36, Goldberg versus John Cena. Um, no. No. <laughs> no. I was watching, um, it was a YouTube guy talking about um, the, the swerve that might happen. The very first match that John Cena ever had in the WWE was against Kurt Angle. So it actually makes sense that John Cena took on Kurt Angle in, in Angle's last match. It actually is a perfect story for it. Oh my god! Quick flip up backbreaker right there. Freddy's ready. There he is right there. I'm good, Nerdy. How are you? I'm tired already. We're only at the fourth match. Kurt Angle versus Rock would be cool. I agreed, but it's more poetic for it to be John Cena. Nerdy versus D's nuts. Well, I would win that all day. Listen, Lethal, I gobble your nuts all the time. The fact that it's a Thursday, no difference. Double team action coming across the top. GQ Smooth splashes Joey. Thanks for the Cyclops. Got you Got you a second one. Damn. Hey, Freddy. Freddy has always been here. Freddy is not only always in the chat, but he's always in your dreams. So uh, if you're sleeping tonight and you see a little claw, a claw or a chicken, it's usually Freddy's ready. Uh, Dan Frode creeping in uh, Dark Smile Show. Uh, Freddy's ready. There he is. Up, Freddy. Joey floats over a sea chicken. 
trying to get back in control of this match. Red Wallace. Red, Red Walrus. <laughs> Red Walrus over there waiting to get back in, but Joey seems to be holding his own against... Oh, quick gut kick. <laughs> Uh, Surfer Day! What's going on, Surfer Day? Welcome back, my man. Thank you so much for throwing up that Nerd Circle. And honestly, dude, thank you so much for coming in and enjoying um, what I really love to do. Um, I love to hang out on the stream, and the biggest reason for it is because of so many amazing people I get to meet and hang out with. Um, and tonight, you get to see a couple of these guys, like, in real life. Everybody you see in this match is somebody who's a part of this show, um, who's a member of the NC, who's somebody who... Uh, is a friend of mine, stuff like that. The whole roster is that. You know that feeling, my dude? Yeah. And as soon as you're on, man, I'm going to send everybody to you because um, I want them to see how awesome that uh, Surfer Dave really is, man. You had me hooked within about three and a half seconds of joining your show, and I cannot wait to show to share the NC with you, man. Uh, always lurking and creeping. That's true. That's true. That's what, that's what we like our Freddy's ready. Joey trying to turn over that figure four, and he's just going to work it out and punch out GQ smooth. Uh, Showtime is trying to get a team together if you guys want to play a figure four. Jay Watterson. Oh, quick duck under neckbreaker right there to GQ smooth, taking him down. Joey wants to take on everybody by himself. Joey said in the chat earlier, said Red Walsh is going to do all the work, but it turns out Joey's going to do all the work anyway. Uh, that's super kind to you. You don't have to. Uh, the best channel i found in some time. Well, thank you so much, man. It really does mean the world. Uh, but that's what I look for. I look for people who put more out there. Joey, big super kick, taking down GQ Smooth. I look for people that are entertaining that want to do it, and it has nothing to do with uh, fame or money. They just want to entertain and hang out with awesome people, and that's that's why I, I was gravitated to you so damn quick. Uh, Wakanda forever. There you go, V-Twin. Random, but all right. Joey just staring down GQ. No, no, Red Walrus is giving him a pet talk. That's what Red Walrus is like. Listen here, Joey, you've got this. You can do this whole match by yourself. You don't even have to tag me in. Uh, I'll save me for later. Joey going for the kick. No, GQ Smooth stops him. <clears throat> well, I always wanted to be a pro wrestler. I did too. Um, I actually trained in the minors for a little bit, and I got hurt, <laughs> and I never. I, I recovered, and then I never went back. Uh, I just started being a human being rather than a professional wrestler. But I did train for a while, and I was part of the. Uh, the backyard wrestling movement in the 90s, like the uh, don't try to this at home, that was because of me. <laughs> uh, that's, that was the kind of stuff that I was doing. So I had high expectations of being a professional wrestler. Uh, but yeah, when you, when, you, when you tear your knee, and uh, it, it gets, it's hard to get back up and do that stuff. Uh, we need a Jimmy Superfly Snooker. Had but leap from the top rope. Freddy, what? <laughs> I don't know what that means. You, you need Freddy to jump from the top rope and do that? Okay. All right. Sea Chicken Dragon. Oh, my God. Oh, the entire weight of the Sea Chicken crashing down on Red Walrus. I keep wanting to say Reed Wallace. Fizz, please confuse us. That happens. The true casualties have fallen. It looks like that Red Walrus comes out the winner. Gambling 2,000 jizz bucks if you guys want to play. Make sure you check how many jizz bucks you have. I'm going to watch the Grand Tour and your stream at the same time. Did you brush your shoulder off for bragging, V-Twin? Because uh, we don't allow that kind of stuff without some bragging. Joey's going to go down there and try to take him out. Points! There you go. 27! Damn! Red Wallace getting some more up there. Trying to tag in Joey. I'm not here. What's going on, Fizz? Good to see you, my man. You actually won your match earlier tonight, and you did advance in the tournament, dude. Red! Going to try to break the knees of Sea Chicken. Trying to knock him out of alignment. Sea Chicken can't stand. He damn sure can't win the match. I'm going to try to find all of the amazing ass, amazingness on my computer, but don't know where Homebody hit it. What? Amazingness of what? Lil Mouth is. It's true. What's the amazingness on your computer? Big choke slam sending Sea Chicken directly to the mat. <clears throat> the crowd is enthralled with this. This match is for the uh, advance in the Holiday Championship. Joey giving a pep talk to Reed. <coughs> Videos of my dad and my dad, I want a drop box to my sister. Oh, okay, well, you'll find them. They're there. Don't worry. They are there. I didn't know you had a sister. Does she have red hair, too? <coughs> sea Chicken stuck in that corner. Red Walrus is going to stare him down. No, waited too long. Big headbutt to Red. Come on, Walrus. Come on. We need a sound bar now that I have a stream room. Hell yeah, you do. I have two sisters. I did not know that. 
Shame on me. I need some punishment because I didn't know that. I'm sorry, Delph. GQ Smooth is still down on the outside. Sea Chicken gonna work on red. Joey, stop talking to us. Oh my God! A first. Wow! A flip forward Huracan. I've never seen that. Did you see the teaser for AEW New Belt? I did not. No, I didn't. Did your AEW just talk? Oh, the ref is down talking with CM Punk about joining them. I highly doubt it. I really do. Big up, double team boot to the face right there to see chicken. Joey is in. Joey's using to cause some some serious carnage right now. Working on the arm of sea chicken. Stepbrother and two stepsisters too. What? That's like a huge family. You guys could have a small basketball team. I did not see the AEW belt yet though. Uh, but I, I, man, I would almost put money on it. CM Punk, maybe he would join to be like a promoter, but he probably won't be a wrestler. I doubt it. Like, highly. Oh, my God! Dominator right there to Joey. Red's got to break it up, and Red breaks it up. Sea Chicken almost had this match won for him and GQ Smooth. Um, I got three brothers and a sister. Damn, I feel terrible. How did I not know that? How did I know that about you guys? Uh, new trailer for Stranger Things, sing, Stranger Things 3 Season 3. Yes. Uh, of course, it's going to be awesome, man. I don't care whatever happens, man. I'm hooked on for Stranger Things for life. Joey, big flipping heel kick right to the face. Um, so, Dave, man, uh, you wanted to be a professional wrestler. Did you ever pursue it, or you just watched it a lot and, like, acted this stuff out? Did you ever actually go to training camp? Um, did you have a name? Did you have, like, a, a persona? Did you have a persona? Yeah, they're in talks because AEW want a big name. Well, they've got a bunch of big names. Chris Jericho. They, they've got a whole lot of big names. They don't need him. They don't need him. Uh, it looks so 80s and yet still great, Red. Agreed, agreed. Trying for that submission, but Sea Chicken gets to the rope. Referee just scratched his ass. I saw it. I saw it. Big flying forearm to Red Walrus. Sea Chicken tell him to get the hell up. Red Walrus seems to be out and down. The dominance of Walrus is not what it used to be. Not sure if he's just kind of laxed or he just says sorry way too much. Uh, a must-see for me. I agree. I agree. Uh, Fallen's the oldest of seven, and I only have one brother. Look at all you people with the damn siblings. Big boot to the face. Double team action. Joey's back in. Joey's on top. Almost did. I actually wanted to do a surfer gimmick. Uh... It's me in real life just maxed out. Hell yeah, dude. That's awesome. Did, was it, was it going to be like Dave? Was it going to be like Surfer Dave? Like, And now, coming to the ring, Surfer Dave. Sup, bros? What's going on? We're going to catch some serious waves. And Sea Chicken is busted. Wide open by Joey Super Kick. Going for the pin on the bloody Sea Chicken. One, two. That's all she wrote. Joey Undead. Red Walrus advance in the tournament. GQ Smooth and Sea Chicken. Pissed. Rocking a mask that had dreads on the outside of it. That's awesome. I love that. Tell you what, go do it. You have my consent. Go go be a professional wrestler right now. <laughs> this double team action was perfect back and forth for both teams. It was not one-sided at all. It seemed as soon as Sea Chicken was gaining momentum against Red, Joey would come in and gain the momentum back. It was very, very close the whole time. But in the end... Bam! Double team moves prevailed. Sea Chicken just could not stand it anymore. Your winners right now in advancing. Joey Undead, I'm sorry, King Undead, and Red Walrus. Congrats, Joey Undead. It's over. It's never over. It's never over. I mean, yeah. <laughs> um... Sometimes on the show, I do a persona of mine who is a professional wrestler called the Dirty Fish Stick, which is actually my uh, tier two emote. Hang on. There it is right there. So that is my uh, professional wrestler persona as a... Uh, Sort of a way to do it and then not do it. You know what I mean? It's kind of like uh, I can live out the dreams still. Without having to actually be through all the pain of actually being uh, hit on the mat constantly from time to time. 
All right, guys, so we've got Dan Frode in Showtime versus Too Cocky and Fallen Angel. Now, let me show you. That's right, the Dirty Fish Tank's gonna call the match. I'm not gonna call the match. And the Dirty Fish Tank's gonna call the match. Let's do it. Let's get it on. <laughs> but yeah, so that's my uh, that's my wrestler persona. That's not who I was gonna be back in the day. That's just somebody that uh, we created along the lines. Uh, let's see here. Uh, if Thunder Liger can do it, we can all do it. Yeah, he's having his retirement match. How crazy is that? That dude's that dude's like what. 55 or something? WrestleMania 36, Goldberg versus Undertaker or Sting versus Undertaker? Well, the dream match when I was growing up always was Sting versus The Undertaker. That's what I wanted to see so damn bad. But Sting is retired and he's not coming back. Once he set his mind to it and he got hurt, he's not coming back. Um, Goldberg came back for the great run against Lesnar and it was awesome, but doing it again would just, it would, it would just destroy all that. So that's not going to happen. Um, I can see Undertaker coming back for something, but yeah. Uh, I'm going to kick some ass tonight. Oh, yeah. He looks good. Uh, same, that match would have been amazing in 2003. Yeah, as soon as Vince bought WCW, that's what would have happened. But unfortunately, he didn't buy Sting's contract. He didn't buy Goldberg's contract. He bought, like, the low roster ones. He didn't get the big ones because their contract didn't expire for another four years and he wasn't going to buy them out to get them. It would have cost too damn much money, especially because all the top guys were, like, making Turner money. And you don't, you can't compete with Turner money. So he couldn't do it. And at that point, Sting went to TNA, and he had that whole big religious experience because the, like, go look it up. Just don't, don't even listen to me. Go look it up. Uh, but yeah, Sting said he would never set foot in WWF because um, it crossed moral boundaries and things like that. It was against his religion and all this stuff. Uh, but anyway, the fin he finally stepped into it, and Seth Rollins hurt him. Uh, oh, guess what? WWE never copyrighted the Four Horsemen, and guess what? Wrestling Group just filed for it. No! No! Really? How did they not copyright the Four Horsemen? I thought they owned NWA and all that. Wow! That's crazy. I didn't know that. That man right there is Dirty Dan Frode, and he is one half of the SCW Tag Team Champions. Tonight, he could actually claim the Holiday Tag Team Champions as well. He could have two different partners and two different championships tonight. He's the only one that can do that. Can Dan Frode get it done? Uh, that title is awesome, man. Yeah, that's, that's our tag team titles. It looks really, really good. Um, it's hard to see it when he's moving and flaring on around. But yeah, everything is hand created by me. All these sculpted wrestlers, they look like the people that are in the chat. Like the guy at the bottom of the chat, that's Dan Fro or that's Dan75 of Norway. That's what that's ballpark what he looks like in real life. These are people from the chat from my life that get to watch their avatars compete on a weekly basis. Sexy Dan Fro, that's true, that's true. Sometimes their names don't. Sometimes their names are what I call them versus what their name is in chat. How do I get involved? Uh, give me some time. And from Canada. That's right. That is Showtime. Showtime. Give us a what's up, man. Showtime is Canadian, born and bred. He is a rookie in SCW, and he wants to get it on tonight. Showtime did have his chance for the PlayStation, I'm sorry, for the uh, PlayStation Championship. He wants the Canadian Beaver Championship, but yet to hold the gold. I'm sad I can't find my videos. You will find them very soon. Be right back, bio, on my DVD or on the computer. You'll find them, don't worry. Don't worry about them tonight. They're there. You will get them, Del. Don't you worry. Enjoy the beers show. It's true. There he is right there. Showtime down at the bottom. Yeah, they're all they're all real people. Uh, you can do a WrestleMania style pay-per-view for SCW. Yes, but I want them. <laughs> <laughs> A buddy of mine messaged me today, Google Florida Man and your birthday. What? In Mortal Kombat 11, which Marvel or DC character will you add on the game? 
I mean, man, it would be it would be kind of cool to see like um, like Green Arrow take on like uh, maybe Reptile or something. Little French lady, you in my pocket? Little French lady is not in your pocket tonight. Don't cry, Delve. Don't cry. Don't cry, Delve. They're there. You just can't seem to locate them right now, but they're there. But that man is too cocky. He did have a chance at the SCW World Heavyweight Championship. And he did not defeat Michael Furberger. Only V-Twin did. I'm glad Danny is here to do all the hard work. <laughs> um, Carnage. I thought he said DC. Oh, Lethal, you're trolling. I got you. I got you. I got a little crazy. Got a little crazy in my head there. Heist for a thousand. Uh, come on, boo. Come on, boo. Carnage would have a sick fatality. I agree. And skip. We're going to give it a little bit. Damn it. At least I call him boo. Uh, too cocky is party up top and business down below. He said Marvel DC, you non reading. Did he? Oh, he did say Marvel. He did say Marvel. Are they doing Marvel in DC? Uh, hey, J Dub, yes, I'm sticking my face out. Cheer for show. Yeah, you did. That's true. That's true. Uh, cool. It would be all the belts uh, be on the line. Yeah. Um, all right, and skip. There we go. Technically, we did all the belts on the line for, um, I think it was Frodecade. I think Frodecade, we did it for all that. Um, will I do it around the WrestleMania time? Probably not. I think my WrestleMania or SCW's WrestleMania will probably be like in August or something like that. Um, like coinciding it with WrestleMania just doesn't seem feasible. It seems like I'm copying them and I don't want to do that. Big stop right there. Too cocky and Fallen's an Fallen Angel. Not Fallen's Angel. Fallen Angel taking on Dan Frode and Showtime over there. Dan Frode is the tag team champion. The other guys do not have gold around their waist. As of yet, flip over, roll around. Snap suplex right there. Too cocky in control. Got his river boots on in case a flood happens in the middle of the ring. You never want to get your pant legs wet. Dan Frode looking shiny. And he's going to tag in Fallen. Fallen in, trying to show the world that he is more than a rookie. Actually, everybody in this ring is a rookie, with the exception of Dan Frode, who ducks under, kicks to the gut. Big boot to the face. Taken down, Fallen. Dan Frode's going to prove why he is the best and the tag team champion. It has begun. Hello, Trance. Indeed, that is right. My name is Heroes, and I'm now going to call match. Look at that jaw jacket right there to Fallen. Everybody, make sure you drink your jugular, and then we're going to toss Fallen by the ring, take him over to the side, and drag him back. Went a little Dracula, but you know what? Heroes is here, and it's okay. Tag in. Showtime's in. Showtime wants to prove that he is the number one contender for the Canadian Beaver Championship. Jugular. Uh, nice. Maybe have it November, end of the year type of show. Well, we, we've already done our November. I think we already did a November pay-per-view. i got to look at it up. Uh, police for timing. Jupiter, sad face down. No sad face Delph. Smiley face Delph. Um, everybody put up a cheesy pickup line for Delve right now. Google it if you have to, but you know, pick her up. Like, uh, did you fall from heaven? Something like that. Come on, you guys can do this. You got, you guys can, you guys can nail these pickup lines. I promise you. Sit, no, no, no. Wrong heroes. Pick her up. Pick her up. Send her a, send her a good, not Jupiter. <laughs> Big elbow to the gut, taking a show. Fallen definitely wants to make his mark here in SCW. Big splash. Reverse back, going for the pin. One, just a, yeah, barely a one count on that one. Kick to the back. Working on that elbow of Fallen. Showtime. Very confused. Oh! <laughs> Kick out of nowhere. Showtime has been rocked. Whenever you meet those Crocs that that guy wears, you know Fallen wears Crocs. Uh, Delve, much love to you. It's true. Everybody's Googling. Uh, was your dad a boxer, Delve? Because you're a knockout. Bam! Delve, I need a patch because I fell for you. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, Dell, wanna go halves on a bass? No! No trance! <laughs> Bad trance, go to your room! Uh, let's go. Surfer Dave, man, thank you so much for that host, dude. Uh, it really means the world to me, dude. It really does. Thank you, buddy. Too cocky kick to the gut! Uh, <laughs> Bad trance! Um, if he did, he wouldn't be married. You know he wears Crocs. Like, as soon as he leaves the house, like, he's out of your presence, he slides those Crocs on and just goes, Oh, yeah. And then he, like, he, like, sticks his finger in his ear and licks the earwax or something. Your eyes are like the sun, Delve. I got blinded by you. <laughs> Big running bulldog taking down two cocky. Heroes win so far, guys. Just saying. That's true. That's true. Delve getting picked up left and right. You know she likes it. She's light on her feet. Whoop. I hope not. Well, he told me that in confidence. Oh my god, too cocky. Ducks to the side. Dan Fro takes down his own partner. Belly to belly. Suplex over the top. Uh, Delve, for some reason, I was feeling a little off today, but when you came along, you definitely turned me on. Bam! Rocket shot. <laughs> 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 Good job, Dan. Big swipe over elbow. Not a one coming back. Too cocky. He's rocked. Rocking too cocky. Everybody knows how to do that. Dan Frode, big splash. Fallen still on his feet, still watching very vigorously. And he wears Crocs. Big splash. Dan Frode's not wasting any time. He wants it over, done with. Taking down the knee. I'm not rich, but I have wine and floors full of pillows, Delph. <laughs> Too cocky. Sending night nights to Dan. Wow. I have wine and pillows on the floor. Too cocky. Going for it. Two cocky's move. One. Two. Dan Fro kicks out. To hang out with a little French lady, but out. See how she just friend zoned you so damn hard, show? I mean, you got you got cock blocked faster than a two cocky walking into a casino. Duck under, two cocky coming back, big flying. Clothesline taken down, showtime, calling for Dan to tag him in. Two cocky is winning this one. Duck, oh, Dan turns it back around. No headlocks allowed, we saw it. Too cocky does type in, type in, tag in, fall in, big boot or big crock to the face. He, he does wear Crocs, I'm sorry. It's, it's, it just happens. Dan Fro kicks him off. Kicks the Croc off. Bam! Backbreaker right there. Side Salto backbreaker. Meh, I have cams everywhere. Sub to premium Snapchat now. Well, you know what? I'm gonna have to do that now. After W2K20, that's it. What do you mean that's it? Wow, perfect teammate execution right there. Dan Fro just couldn't put Fallen away. Dan Fro looking for it right now. Bam, Holiday Fro lights out for Fallen. That's it. One, two. Oh, oh my God. The crowd can't believe it. I can't believe it. Dan Fro can't believe it. Holiday Fro won him the tag team championships. He tries to put it down on Fallen, but Fallen kicks out. <coughs> Dan Frode is pissed. Me playing WWE games. Why? Tell me why. Tell me why. I've literally torn my house apart trying to find these DVDs. Drunk Delve is determined. Drunk Delve needs to settle down. <laughs> I understand that determination, though. Fallen. Reverse flapjack right there. Face buster. Too cocky is still down. <clears throat> can I join? No. No, JW. You can watch on premium Snapchat when you paid. Snap. Perfect suplex. Oh, the three amigos coming in hot. Two. Spinning around, two cockies back up to protect his tag team partner. Three. Perfectly executed by the Croc Master. <laughs> Drunk Delve is determined. Going for it. No, Dan Fro turns it around. Of course you can. Damn. Damn, little French lady is inviting it over. It's about to turn this threesome into a quad. Yeah. Dan Fro trying to do something special, but no. Fallen reverses it on him. Epic back and forth. Everybody in the crowd is standing on this one. This is for a right in the semifinals. Working on Dan Frode's arm. No, coming off hot. Kick to the gut. Big clothesline takes over. Too cocky. T 
Dan Froat is feeling the energy and feeling the crowd. Thank you, heroes. Taking that fatality calm down out there. Dan Froat punches both teammates, takes them to the table. Holiday Tag Team Championships are on the line tonight. An epic gauntlet match. One of these teams will advance, and one of them, perhaps, could go to take on Lethal and J-Dub tonight. I still win by Delph. That's true. That's true. What's he up to now? Up to five. Uh, Leroy, man, why are, you, why are you getting rid of uh, 2K Games? What, what's the problem, man? What, what, what's, the, uh, what's the dealio? Uh, thank you, little friends, lady. Uh, Hellboy 2019. Looks great, though. Looks great. What's he up to? He can't throw Dan back in the ring. Up to eight. He can't throw him in the ring. He's caught on Fallen's legs. It's going to be a double count out. Are you kidding me? It's going to be a double count out on this. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Wow! Absolutely stunning victory. The last absolute second that Dan Frode had to slide in the ring before the referee said 10, he outmaneuvered too cocky on the outside, slid in, and boom, 10, too cocky, and Fallen's Angel eliminated in epic Dan Frode fashion. Wow! Them damn huge Crocs. I told you the dude wears Crocs all the time. And here you are not believing me. Dan Fro couldn't even get past those giant clown shoes. Uh, the game plan executed to perfection. Rigged again, corrupt council. <laughs> wow, Showtime Dan, advance. I cannot believe that. Wow, that that that's crazy. I've never seen an ending like that. Not, I mean, one diving in and then the, the count, fine. But that, that swerve, wow. There you go. The tables are set for the semifinals. We've got Delic and Twisted Sense taking on Sunday Heat and Fizz Kid. Fizz Kid wasn't here earlier. Not sure if he's still lurking and jerking or not. He might be up feeding the kitty. You never know what Fizz Kid's doing. Damn, what a finish. SC Dub. That's right, Allie D. Uh, <laughs> you calm the hell down. That's right, Lethal. Uh, that was... <laughs> oh, man. Dan is the head of the corrupt council. <laughs> Actually, I mean, if anybody is, it's probably you, Lethal. Let's be honest. If anybody's going to scream corrupt council to try to deflect it to somebody else, that's probably the real culprit. Uh, thank you, little French lady. Little French lady in Showtime hanging out with us tonight all the way from Canada. Red Walrus in trance as well. Which female male superstar should be on the cover of W2K20 and pick your special DLC superstar and diva? If you want my actual prediction, it would probably be Finn Balor. I really do believe that Finn Balor has a look that will sell games whether or not it is a good game or not. People will buy it just because Finn is on the cover. They've done Brock, they've done Seth, but it'll... Whoa! Metal Mogwai for up to 15 viewers! Metal Mogwai! Me, 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 me. Make sure you guys, if you do have those Angela faces, toss them over the chat like Undefined Dime has... There we go. There we go. We got. We got to do it. We got to do it. We got to do it. We got to. But damn, there we go. Right there. Metal smile. Metal mongwai. How the hell's your vacation going? Uh, is Emoji guys still there? Is your mom there? Sup, sup, and your mom. Uh, lethal head of Sinister Six. It's true. It's true. Illuminati. What's going on, C? Of course, Delic. And Legend too. Uh, Legend is Kurt Angle. Uh, hi, nerdy. Yes, he's here. Hi, Mojo Face Guy. How are you? <laughs> Undefined Dime. Good to see you, my friend. Uh, can't wait to get my first emote. This whole affiliate thing is new to me. You, you got it, right? You, you said you got it the other night. Delix tag team partner is, of course, Twisted Sense, the reigning PlayStation champ. That's right. How was it night? How was it? How was playing tonight with Emoji Guy? I know he was at least hanging out. Maybe he said some stuff, like Guten Tag. 
See? Fluent in German. <laughs> Hi, Anja Dashala. What? It is the most adorable. He was chilling. Yeah. How was your day at Universal? That's where you went, right? Universal? I'm pretty sure. Sunday Heat. No, Delve is the most adorable. No, you're both the most adorable at the same time. You have the most equal amount of adorable at the same time. Whatever that is, a billion. A billion adorable points for both of you. Awarded. I went to Epcop yesterday uh, with my mom and boyfriend. Okay, so it was. All right, that's awesome. Did you guys have a lot of fun? And Sunday Heat's tag team partners, of course, the Fizz Kid. <laughs> Metal Magua is the most adorable. Kiss the face. Yes, my mom hadn't been there in about 27 years or so. That's awesome. That is awesome. No, I'm the most adorable, eh? You're the you're the third most adorable Canadian. Uh, I wanted her to have the best time ever. Well, hell yeah, she's hanging out with Metal Magua and Emoji Face guy. Let's be honest. Did he have the Emoji Face on the whole time? Like a like a larger like cardboard yellow circle with like a smiley face on it the entire time he was there. I bet there's a lot of pictures. Uh, no nerdy is the most adorable. I go from geek to chic, baby. <laughs> Good to see you, Undefined. <laughs> Confirm, yes. I'll take it. There we go. See, I've got my own chicken. I don't need Metal Mogwai's chicken no more. <laughs> Glasses, there we go. Geek to chic, lol. I have other things. I have a banana. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, we all have chickens. I blame Freddy's Ready. I don't know who you blame, but I blame Freddy's Ready for my chicken obsession. Actually, I'm the banana. What's your chicken's name? Reed Wallace. I blame Freddy. Yeah, there we go. Uh, Squawky Talky. Spark. What's going on, Spark? Spark. It's Spark, but it's Spork in my brain. Uh, do glasses are freaking cute? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Well, Metal Mogwai wears glasses. That makes her doubly freaking cute. Uh, Pip Squeak. <laughs> Jawjacker, we've got a match going on here, and here we are talking about how adorable Delve and Metal Mogwai are and how big Emoji Face's guy Emoji Face is. What's the circumference on that thing? Double team action coming in, Fizz Kid. This is for the finals. Big boot to the face by Sunday Heat. I'm not adorably, uh, I'm not adorably cute. Yes, you are. Listen, this is my show. I make the rules. If I say so, it's law. Right? Big! Oh, hanging Fizz Kid out to, out to dry on the ropes. You are doubly cute, Lala. I said so. It is law. Fizz Kid in control of Twisted Sense. Sunday Heat is the only rookie in this match. He is being, uh, he's being the partner of Fizz Kid, the reigning Canadian Beaver Championships. You're right. You're the triply quadruply cute. Law is debatable. Not in this show, it's not. <laughs> what is the circumference of it? That's what she said. Blushes. Man, it's like sitting on a can of ravioli. Uh, you're all too sweet. No, we're all too factual. There's a difference. Big kick right there. This kid was in control, and now it looks like Twisted Sense going to pull that shoulder out of socket. This is to advance to the semifinals and potentially take on J-Dub and Lethal. Wow, the Red Bull kicked in a little bit right there for uh, Twisted as Fizzkid gets the hell out of the ring. Bam! Meeting the ring apron right there. Remember what happened with the Dan Frode match right there on the outside of the ring? <laughs> you could get counted out, DDT, on the outside. Uh, that was some dance move. That's actually what Twisted does um, whenever the screen goes out for a little bit. He gets up, does all that, and he sits back down and be like, Sup, fam? Uh, well, I better get going. Going to spend some time with him and hopefully go to sleep soon. Getting up early to go to St. Augustine tomorrow. What country is St. Augustine in? Up to seven, and they toss each other back in the ring now. Bam, kick to the face. It's in Florida. Wow, Florida's a country? Night! Uh, wow, as soon as a Angie's like, I'm leaving, Spock's like, I've got to go too, right? I can't, I can't hang out because that would be weird, right? Like, if I'm here and Angie's not here, that's weird. Okay. Uh, loves and hearts to you, that's true. Oh, roll through kick right to the face, disorienting Fizz more than normal. 
uh, night metal. Good night, Angie. Uh, I saw a backyard wrestling video where a guy built a steel cage, but didn't end well. I've I've done that. I've I've done that before. It didn't end well for me either. <laughs> we'll send the video. Send it. Send it. I'm very curious, man. I've thought about posting some of my backyard wrestling stuff, um, but I just don't know if it'd be well received. Like if I do it during the show, it's fine. But posting like on YouTube or Twitch or something just doesn't seem feasible. Uh, good night, everyone. Metal Mogwai, take care of yourself. Uh, take care of Emoji Guy. Make sure you guys do lots of spoons and cuddles. But listen, if he is spooning you from the back, I want a pillow between both of you, okay? You hear me? That you're Under my roof, you guys will spoon with a pillow between both of you. Uh, so I'm leaving my job, right? I made sure I did the training to get a free phone case before I leave. <laughs> Dev, always the entrepreneur. And now Sunday Heat finally gets tagged back in this match. Big clothesline to twist it, taking him down. Kitchen sink met. Okay, we won't. No, 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 no. You put, no, no. You put that pillow. You going to disobey me in my own house? Kick out my sw twisted sense. Uh, live long. Wait. Long live the Conk Republic? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> I'll be here in like three days. It's amazing. That's awesome. That's awesome. <laughs> Typo March. What? I don't know what that means either. Sunday Heat trying to go all out and cannot stop. And they have lifetime warranty, so I have free cases for life. Perfect. Delic has not been in this match yet. Twisted Sense. Kick to the back. Uh, who made that claim? I'm just having to keep checking on things. We hope to pay my sister's final. Oh, I'm so sorry about that, Spock. I was just giving you some fun stuff, man. Uh, never take anything I say too personal. That's why Angie and uh, Emoji Face Guy are definitely not going to have a pillow between them tonight. You know what I mean? I'm so sorry to hear that, buddy. I really am. That's, that that definitely sucks. Condolences to you, dude. Delic working on Sunday on the outside, as so is Twisted. Oh, he can't get back in the ring. It's the Dan Vogt experience all over again. Big pickup. Oh, it just tosses him. I've never seen that before. Twisted just picked him up and then just tossed him off to the side for some damn reason. Wow. Throws him back in. Twisted, trying to get back in. Delic's not wearing Crocs like Fallen was. Oh, oh. Looks like, it looks like uh, Delic has given Twisted some, uh, some pep talks there. Um, losing family members, heartbreaking, hearts to you. Exactly, 100%. Delve. Delve speaks for us. Oh, big pickup. Oh, float over. Face buster right there to Sunday. Going for the pin. One, two. Delic tries to stop it, but it doesn't matter. Sunday Heat kicks out of his own willpower. Delic's up top. Was going to go for something special. And no, decides to go for Fizz Kid anyway. Twisted and Sunday are still the legal men. Atomic drop to the front. Twisted's down. So I can mess up my old man's car. That's true. You can do that as well. Make sure you do that. Uh, it's it's upper decking. Born born 1980, April 19th. Wow, dude, that's that's way too damn young. That's way too damn young. I'm so sorry to hear that, dude. Well, hopefully you can hang out with a little bit. You know, hang out. We'll try to uh, make an ass out of me so you can laugh just a little bit. Evil Heroes is here. That's right, Evil Heroes. Um, if you don't know, uh, Spork, it's very interesting. Oh my God, Sunday Heat from the top. Oh. Big press from the down, and Delic breaks it up. Um, yeah, so Heroes is planning to do an upper decker into his dad's car. So Heroes' dad has a Pagat that has a sunroof. Heroes is actually going to pry back the sunroof and take a dump through the top of the sunroof while the whole time while he's drinking Jupiler. Oh, there it is! Rocking and rolling, baby, right there. Wow. Uh, it's Spark. Didn't we just have this conversation? We no, 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 no. We just had this conversation. This is my stream, and my rules apply. Hi, Crazy K. Oh my God, it's Crazy K. Oh, and the referee is down. The referee is. It's crazy. Everybody, stop what you're doing and praise the Crazy K. Sunday, he is rocking and rolling against Twisted right now. He is dominating. A hundred percent. This match is goes to Sunday Heat. Haven't seen you in a while. Ah, crazy K. Crazy K was here just the other night. I don't know what you're talking about. You weren't here the other night, Undefined. Big shoulder block right there. Uh, but yeah, it's it's sport. It's 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 uh it's sport. It's sport. Uh, Andrew Squeal. Ah! 
<laughs> you gotta throw. You gotta throw the real one. You gotta throw the real Angie squeal right there. Boom. Hi, Crazy K. There you go. Metal smile. Uh, praises Crazy K. Thank you, Delb. Delb does it right because it's wine, hair, boss. There we go. Twisted Sam's trying to get some momentum built up against Sunday Heat here. Metal smile. See, see, see. Undefined dime. He's got it going on. And Delic has yet to enter this match one single time. And finally, Twisted Sense tosses it off. Fizz Kids finally back up. Double team action coming in. Big work boot to the face right there. Wine hell del wine hair delve drunk. <laughs> the ref moonwalking. That that happens from time to time, yes. You gotta get out of the way. You gotta get out of the way of all the moving bodies. Have you seen El Mariachi? Like the band? And Fizz Kid is finally back in here. You can see the fatigue is wearing on Sunday Heat. I haven't called a match in a long time. My voice is already starting to goo. Del, are you still drinking? Are you, are you like filling up another glass? These matches are more entertaining than WWE. I agree. I do agree. Especially for the fact of the more you hang out, the more you actually get to learn that these are real people from the chat and most of them about 50% are actually real streamers you can go and watch. And uh, the movie, I have not. Uh, awesome movie, Dan Throat. Apparently that is something overseas that I don't know about. Jawjacker right there to Delic. Fizz Kids Sunday Heat are more dominant in this match than Twisted and Delic. Make sure you check out Liz Wits. Got to do it. I have not seen it. I haven't even heard about it. Is, there some, is it a big movie? Something like big going on? Fizz Kid is trying to mind fuck right there, Delic. And he seems to. Delic's caught off guard. Flip around, turn around, and then arm bar. That's how Fizz Kid won the previous match. Delic is the fresh maker. Can he get out of this? Can Delic get out of will he tap to Fizz Kid's arm bar? Holding on, and he just releases it. Prequel to Desperado. Maybe I have seen it. Movie where the guitar player is out for revenge, and the guitar in this case. It wasn't. I've seen Desperado, one, oh, and Twisted breaks it up. I've seen Desperado, and I've seen Once Upon a Time in Mexico. I've seen those two, but I'm not sure. With Antonio Banderas. Kona! Kona, 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 Kona! What's going on, girl? Great to see you. How are you doing tonight? A lot of chaos going on here. I got confused by a uh, El Mariachi band. <clears throat> Robert Rodriguez. I guess I haven't seen that one. I've seen the other two, though. I've seen Desperado and uh, Once Upon a Time. I have not seen it. Is it all in Spanish? Is that why I maybe I haven't seen it? Uh, uh, once upon a time in Cali coming soon. Like a real, like that same line. Going for the pin on Delic. One, two. Twister was down. Sunday he just couldn't keep Delic down. Banderas is not in the first. Ah, okay, okay, all right. See, Spock knows. Huh, crazy case. <laughs> it's always crazy K. Good to see you, Kona. If you guys have not checked out Kona on Twitch, you need to. Yeah, it's in Spanish. That's probably why I haven't, because it's it's probably in subtitles. And I hate reading. Lethal can attest. Double T. What the hell is that move? Wow. Wow. Dude, everybody in the world is stunned by that move. Delic is down. Fizz Kid. Twisted can't even move. What the hell? Real film starting uh, Leo Brad Pitt later this year. I thought it was called wasn't that Hollywood or something? No, that's something else. Wow, I haven't I haven't seen the previous one. Uh, his character, but he takes over in the second movie. Oh, I got gotcha, you, I got gotcha. you. How's Astroneer Kona? Ah, that's right, she was playing that. Uh, I hate reading or just can't read. Hate, hate, it's hate, hate reading. Delic with a perfect Northern Lights pin. Referee not position one, two. Ooh, Sunday Heat skins by. Weirdest slingshot ever. That was crazy, right? Uh, starting to like reading now. I started to like reading, like like actual books. Like you buy books instead of movies to read. I've heard as you get older, more people like to read. But I just, uh, I have not crossed over to that genre. I like my media directed directly to my brain where I don't have to hallucinate at dead trees. You know what I mean? Delayed count. I agree, Spock. I agree. Delic looking for something big right here. Record breaker to the back of the head of Fizz Kid. He has won multiple championships of that. One, two. Wow. Fizz Kid kicks out of the record breaker. Cannot believe it. Nobody can. 
Delic can't believe it. The crowd is standing. This is for an advancement to the final round here. Who will it be? Will it be Twisted Sense? Will it be Delic? Will it be Fizz Kid and Sunday Heat? Who do you guys think it's going to be? Fizz Kid got a little bit of uh, energy juice coming up. Big and busted. Delic wide open. Fizz Kid with that flying heel kick. Delic trying to tag in. Twisted Sense gets tagged in. No way the referee saw it, but whatever. <clears throat> Definitely not Fizz Kid. Rest is corrupt. New ref, please. Can't do it. Twisted Sense going up high. Fizz Kid is down and out. Twisted. Oh, Twisted. Wow. Twisted Sense from the top going for the pin. One, two, and Sunday Heat there to break it up because Delic's on the outside. Twisted Sense now taking on both at the same time. I should have brought another water. Might have to go get one before the next match. Twisted up top again. Another one, and he misses. That's going to be it right there. That is the defining moment of this match. It will be Fizz Kid and Sunday Heat going to the next round. Twisted went for too much, too quick. Delic's down on the outside. Fizz Kid is trying to mine F right there. Twisted. I used to read so constantly I missed most of everything happening in the 1990s reading. Uh, writing up a petition for this SCW. It's super rigged uh, by some hidden government known as Lethal C5K. Lethal as a ref. Next on my 2020 series. Got that arm bar locked in. Twisted sense taps. Fizz Kid and Sunday Heat advance in this. I told you Twisted went to the well too many damn times in a row. The fact that Fizz was able to counteract that move off the top rope, it spoke wildly that it was over. Fizz Kid, look at this big move right here. Off the top rope, bam! And it was, again, though, most of the time Twisted Sense was in the ring. Delic was very rarely used in this match. Twisted took all the, all the abuse the entire time from both opponents. So the fact that he missed his special move off the top, that was all she wrote. Not, uh, un, undefined, you don't, even know, you don't even know what's going on. You're just, you're just going with the flow. You're just going with the flow. Like Lethal said, it, I'm going to say it. You don't even know. <laughs> so there we go. Advancing on Fizz Kid and Sunday Heat. That is uh, that is shallow. No Hulkamania. Not even a terrible towel. Murder she wrote. Is that your? Is that what it's called? Is that what your 2020 piece is called? Yeah, Sinister Six party run behind the refs. <laughs> Alley. Undefined, don't listen to him. You're fine. It's right. Yeah, yeah. All right, so, uh, yeah, we've got one more match before we know the final two. Uh, no, what's your tone, brother? All right, so Red Walrus, Joey Undead versus Dan Frode and Showtime. Only one team will advance. Who do you guys think it is? I'm going to go grab a water real quick. Um, Lethal, you're in charge of the commentary till I get back. I don't even want to know. I don't even want to know. Uh, show is going to win. Calling it up. All right. Uh, let's see here. Definitely not red because he always loses. True. Uh, good luck, Walrus. Boom. Damn. Uh, so uh, Joey Undead will be called King Baby Case. <laughs> uh, Undead Red got this. Uh, and Red Walrus does drink Walrus pee. I thought, I thought that was going to be DMKP for some reason. <laughs> Showtime likes bad hockey teams. That is a fact. Uh, moan red undead. Moan. <laughs> and Dan is sexy. That's true. That's true. Uh, yeah, King Joey versus King NorCal. There's a matchup for you. We might have to do that. We might have to do that. 
Glad I didn't miss anything. <coughs> Hopefully Fallen's Angel is still hanging out, even though Fallen got eliminated by his big giant croc feet. Big giant croc feet. Google. Here we go. Homebody versus King NorCal. Ooh, we might have to do that. Uh, bad, sexy hockey team for the win. <laughs> you did great. It's funny. Uh, of course. There we go. Red Walrus. Big shoes to fill. Lisa, you're so cool. Reed Walrus's tag team partner. The man who wants to burn it down and own everything. Joey is the paperweight champ. He's the king of SCW, and he would love to add the holiday championship around his waist. You need at least a Discord co-host to be uh, King Lawler to your mean gene. That's true. That's true. Well, see, that's the thing, man. I have to play it down the middle. I can't. I can't be king. I can't be like, uh, oh, Joey's the bad guy, and he's the best ever. He's the best in the world. Oh, and here comes Showtime. He likes to snuggle with pops. Like, I can't do that. I, I have to straighten down the middle. Uh, Battle of the Universal crown and glove match. What? Crown and glove? Oh, psh. Red looks so freaking swole. That's really what Red looks like. He just tans a lot. Dale, if I can't take your spot, I'll be cool enough, and you be the coolest. There you go. Dan and Show gonna win. Dan Fro does have the tag team championships. It would be so iconic if he could get both tag team championships at the same time. What's going on, Solo? Good to see you. That is why you need someone else to play up and be the heel. I agree with you. I'm just too stupid to do a Discord. Twisted, you just missed your match. Ah, oh, good to see you, dude. Uh, he's only swole because he deadlifts Volkswagens. Oh, shit. You just missed it, dude. You just missed your match. And it was awesome, too. It was a great match, man. Just because a little French lady is the size of a pop doesn't mean I like to snuggle with them. I don't know. I don't know. You seem like a pop smuggler. I'm just saying. You just seem like a pop smuggler. No way, Riggs. <laughs> if there's one thing that's constant in this show, it's the fact that it's rigged. And that's fine by me. You know what I mean? Yay! Dan Fro dropping those quick launch elbows right there. But good to see you, Twisted. How's the night treating you, dude? How's Thursday treating you? Dan Fro gonna celebrate a little too sweet little Sir Pizza the Hut going on right there. Lo, 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 lo. Yeah, I can't let these randoms be winning. Uh, well, it was Fizz Kid and Sunday Heat, so I don't I don't know if they're randoms or not. Fizz Kid is random, so I guess you are right. Big knee drop from the 600-pounder Red Walrus. See, a lot of people got a lot to prove in this match alone. Dan Frode wants the holiday championship, so he can say that he is both tag team champions at the same time. The only one to be able to do that. Joey wants it a little bit more. He wants two belts around his waist and that crown on top of his head. So it's kind of a back and forth 50-50 on this. I truly have no idea who to root for or who wants it more. If it wasn't rigged, uh, would it be a game? Someone had to program it. I guess you're right. I guess you're right, yeah. Uh, Red Walrus. Uh, Joey Two Belts. <laughs> What's going on, Joey? Appreciate you hanging out, buddy. When's your next stream, Joey? I haven't seen you on, man. But then again, I haven't been I haven't been on a whole bunch either. Big double team boot to the face right there. I'm a little French lady smuggler and pops. Okay, maybe Nickas or my Doctor Who's. There you go. Random question of the night: What do you want to live? Wait. What do you want to live long enough to see tomorrow night? I mean, I guess if you're going very um, easy peasy, tomorrow night would be the one I would like, like to live long enough to see. Maybe the next night after that. You're talking about like world events? Is that what you're going for, Delve? <laughs> Joey with a wow, a shining wizard that sends the Canadian rocking right there. I've been busy trying to reprogram everything on my PC. 
Um, had to do a hard reset the other day and wiped all my settings for the streams. Oh, that's that's sickening right there, dude. That sucks so bad. Um, I technically had to do that with all my pops recently. I'm at my next stream. Oh, <laughs> a big flying crossbody. <laughs> You know what? That answer worked for both. Tomorrow is your next stream, and tomorrow's what you want to live long enough to see. Uh, oh no, Twisty! I want to live long enough to see the end of the world. That doesn't mean uh, I expect it for it to happen. Oh, you just want to be like immortal, like you. you know, I get. It. I understand that. It does suck so bad. I freaking craft every. Oh, I understand. I do. I haven't been in that exact position, Joey. From the top, bam! Dropping that elbow. Nobody has went from the top to the outside the entire night tonight. That's showing you how bad Joey Undead wants this championship. Um, well, perfect fit it was. It was. Haley's Comet? When's the next Haley's Comet coming? Was that every 50 years or something? Because there's another one like, like when's Hale Bob? There's, no, there, there's one that comes around like every 86 years or something. And it came around like in, I want to say, 1995 or 4, something like that. There's a there's a comment that comes around like every 86. Now I have to work on the commands. Oh, dude, like if I lost my, uh, my Nightbot stuff, there was no way. There's no way I'm putting 500 hashtags back into it. Red off the road. Big boo from Red. Almost. I mean, you saw Show's head bounce off that canvas. And now Red Walrus going to work on Showtime. Dan Frode yet to touch this match. 2061 is next Haley's Comet. Damn. I will be owed. Owed in 2061. Dude, Red is so freaking shiny. He is. He is. Uh, I have a whole notebook of settings of devices that keep losing their settings somewhere in my closet. Wow. <laughs> what, is, what is the one that comes around? Maybe it's every 112 years or something. Something like that. There's a comet that came around, I want to say 94 through 96, somewhere in there. And it was like the only time I'm ever going to see it in my lifetime. And I can't remember what it was. I want to live long enough to see my niece, nieces and nephews achieve greatness in their life. Well, I mean, do they have potential to achieve greatness? <laughs> They're my world. Uh, and you have baby fever too, Delve. Showtime off the top. Big elbows. Uh, is it Hale Bop? Is Hale Bop the one? Hale Bop, April 1st, 1997. Okay, so it was Hale Bop, the one I'm thinking of. I didn't think it was 97. I thought it was earlier than that. But then again, 1997 should be 10 years ago, not way more than that. It may. I, well, I said Hale Bop earlier. I just couldn't remember. Dude, homebody and I talked about that tonight and oh, another big boot to the face not as crafty as twisted senses um crazy ddt he did with delic but still the big boot is effective when it's a 500 pound massive walrus delivering it so how did the talk go he told me to go find some random person with a baby so i can get rid of the baby fever damn They do poop and throw up a lot, so that is that is a big factor in the baby fever. Uh oh, Showtime doing that that stare down right there, staring at Joey. Joey didn't see it coming. Showtime wants it real bad. Oh my God, Joey's gonna need some traction. He's gonna need a neck brace. Joey is not moving. Joey undead is dead. Red Walrus needs to get his ass in the ring too. Oh damn! I thought that was it. I would have put money on it that that was it right there. Showtime just delivered devastating, devastating pile driver right there to Joey. Oh, the poop is horrid. <laughs> um, like, I have a talk, talkophobia so bad that it wouldn't even be possible for me to do all that. What is... What is tahakophobia? Poop balls? Yes, poop balls indeed. Now, do you know Angie Sims 4 with the people in the house and help more streaming wrestlers? Or do you already have them all here? Oh, my God! Joey with a package right there! And Joey decides to celebrate rather than capitalize. And here comes a fresh, dirty Dan Frode. 
All right, hang on. I got to read it. But seriously, baby fever is real. I didn't know um, it was a thing. It's definitely a thing. It's definitely a thing. All right. You know Angie Sims 4. Will the people in the house help you add more streaming wrestlers, or do you already have them all here? I don't understand the question. I don't understand the beginning part of the question. Sorry, Spock. I... Lethal, translate. Um, the day, the day. Flaming diapers! Yes, there you go. Tacophobia is the intense fear of pregnancy. Pregnant people and giving birth like it's really bad. So if somebody's pregnant near you, you just, like, you get physically ill. You have to, like, get away. Joey trying to capitalize on Dan. Joey just classed the Dominator on Dan Frode. Rope break kicks out. Showtime's back up. Angie put a bunch of streamers and watchers of her stream into a Sims 4 house. Yes, I, I, I understand that. I agree with that. I've seen it. Yes. Okay. Now, what was the second part of your question? Uh, I searched up tacophobia, and it's a thing, but not on you're talking about. Nobody is afraid of tacos. Nobody is afraid fear of the speed. What? Fear of speed? Oh, really? I thought it was a fear of tacos. Showtime coming in with this dominance right there. Multiple clotheslines taking down Joey. So a weird name shouldn't be called baby phobia or pregnophobia. Oh, no, no, no. Listen. Like, dendrophobia is like, uh, not, not dendrophobia, it's dendrophiliac. But those things, like, they, they have something of the Latin terminology. Most of the things date back to Latin terminology rather than the actual English translation to it. So whenever you're reading those things, it's all scientific rather than, like, layman's terms. They must be afraid of lightning. Whoa, what was that? Oh, fatality. What's going on, buddy? Great to see you, my friend. Oh, uh, let's see here. Sorry. Are all the streamers she put in her house already wrestlers in your game, or could those designs help you make it for this game? Um, the answer is no. The, the people that she made are the people from her channel, and the people that I made are the people from my channel. And basing my design off of a Sims is the wrong way to go about it. Because these guys are actually based off the real-life photographs of the humans that are made in this game. And I think you can get a little bit more detail in this game rather than on the Sims. But, no, if I wanted to make somebody, let's say I wanted to make uh, Dan Frode, who's actually in this match right now, I would use a photograph of him. Of his real life self. I'm pregnant with Twist's baby. Gross. Oh, Red Ball was busted wide open by Showtime. Showtime and Dan Frode feeling the fever of the crowd. Showtime looking for something big. Joey Undead is down on the outside. Showtime turn around. Big knee clothesline takedown. Showtime trying to put away the big red monster. Fatality. Great to see you, man. How you been? How you been doing? It's been a while since we've seen you. Hope you're doing well. Red turning around. Send in Showtime to the opposite corner. Red just going to stare him down, work out that rotator cuff. Tacophobia is the fear of speed. The origin comes from the Greek word taco meaning speed, and phobia is Greek meaning fear. Say, okay, so it's Greek rather than Latin, but same general concept from what I was saying. Red Walrus held off Showtime long enough to get Joey back up to the mat. Uh, with Vitality? Oh, Tusk! 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 Oh my god, they're both bleeding so bad. Red Walrus basically folding Showtime in half after hitting him with the tusk. Red Walrus is feeling the fire, feeling the frenzy. Tusk right there. Big clothesline. Another one. It's like getting hit with a log every single time. Red Walrus smacks Showtime across the chest with that arm. Ref doesn't uh, look like that in real life. Ah, good job, Undefined fear of cheese <laughs> I'm going to eat lasagna for dinner Is it? Uh, what, what, what's special about the lasagna Red gonna tag in Joey another double team action coming on big boot to the face Showtime's bleeding bad Dan Frode looking a little bit wary on the outside one of these two teams will advance to the finals in this Showtime bleeding staring at Joey Joey out of the ordinary up top Joey reverses. It's coming down to it. The crowd is sucked into this right now. 
Joey tagging back in red. Looks like red was doing most of the work. Double team action and another big boot right to the face. It seems like Red Wars keeps delivering that size 19 shoe to the face of every opponent that this team takes on. Joey and red were dominating and now Dirty Dan Frode is back in. I made it uh, Beckel sauce and my sauce, all my sauce is made from scratch. Sounds good. Who Red and Joey. Undefined Dime called his shot earlier. Oh my God, folded up Joey. Mau now show. Folded up Red Walrus right there. Dirty Dan Frode. Oh, turns it around on Red. Red Walrus trying to mount an offense. No, meets an elbow. Dan Frode ran right into it. Tusk, Dan Frode's busted wide open. Going for the pin right there. Joey's in, trying to protect from show. Two, it's over. Wow, what an absolute epic finish to this match. I didn't know who it was going to be. It was so close. Every time one guy was in, the other guy. Look at that, Joey, right there, going to traction. Wow, look at this, Joey, bam, kick right to the face of Dan Frode. Dan Frode and Showtime have nothing to be sorry about. Those dudes put up one hell of a fight. But in the end, it looks like Red Walrus is starting to get his groove back. He he was actually the guy who told Stella how to get it back. Red Walrus smacking Dan Frode with that tusk, knocking him out cold, busted him wide open, advancing to the finals. Joey Undead, King Undead and red walrus everyone just wants to be red yeah let's see i still don't understand why the female version doesn't have the blood feature it's because it's violence like <clears throat> we're all that weak that we can't handle the it's it's just they just don't want to do it they don't want it to be that violent i like it just they don't want to be that violent. It's part of their, um, what do you call it, um, children's age thing. And congratulations, Leroy Black Spidey, for the 1,000th comment tonight. Make Walrus versus Thanos. We did Walrus versus... See, Walrus isn't the most dominant in this. Furburger's the dominant one. Uh, stupid. Agreed. Uh, better than Blue after what Disney did to Will Smith. <laughs> Uh, listen, hold all reserves until you guys see the movie. It looks weird and it hurts because it's Robin Williams, but just let's see what they do with Will Smith. <clears throat> I was two days to get Red's glistening nipples. I, I agree. All right, so here's the finals. One of these two teams will take on Lethal and J-Dub next. Sunday Heat and Fizz Kid, Red Walrus and Joey Undead. Who is it going to be? Place your bets in the chat. Uh, Fizz Kid and Sunday are gonna win. I swear, if Red and Joey, it's definitely rigged. Robin Williams, and I'd share the same birthday. No doubt. That's awesome. Uh, good luck, Walrus. There you go. <clears throat> I haven't done a wrestling match in a couple weeks. My voice is definitely not used to it, especially something going for... It'll probably be close to 2 hours and 45 minutes by the time we're done with all this. <clears throat> yep, July 21st. No, it's more that Will needs a shirt. <laughs> Bearway's picture I never liked. Oh, man. Red and Joey got this. Red and Joey taking it all the way. Pinching Red Walrus's nipples. I mean, I guess the true question is not who's going to win this match. Who is the better team to take on Lethal and J-Dub? Now, think about this. Lethal and J-Dub retain the championships last time. So you got to put that in perspective. Lethal and J-Dub together are a very formidable force. Those guys know what they're doing. They work really well as a tag team. So which one of these has the biggest potential to do it? This is a fun tournament tonight. I'm enjoying it. Thank you very much, Mandrell. You've been hanging out here for about two hours. I really appreciate it, man. It means the world to me that you actually hang out and, and are, is, and, or enjoying the content that we are producing. Uh, you're Aaliyah then, right, Fatality? I can't remember. Fatality is everything, to be honest. Does this game take into account... Uh, hang on, it went away. Uh, unrecovered injuries in a series. Uh, it does in this tournament. In this tournament, if you are... Um, it takes in a fatigue. So the longer a match goes, the harder it is the next match for them to do it. 
We're birthday month, Twinkies. Ooh, highest 21. There you go. That's right, it's the finals in the championship. It is Sunday heat. Lion Gur. Hero still hanging out. Heroes, we appreciate you being here, man. It's good to see you. Spock as well. It's great to have you guys here. Sunday Heat's tag team partner. The reigning Canadian Beaver champion, Mr. Fizz Kid. And it fits me so well. Every time you hear the drums, you know that the big red Canadian is coming down the ring. Whoa! King Money! Appreciate that, King Money. Thank you so much for the follow. King Money 04, Red Walrus, coming to the ring. Love to talk to you sometime, bro. I'm always here, man. Chat a lot of deck. I just don't have to be able to put the couch out. I can't do it. Can't do it. Uh, King Money, thanks so much for that follow, man. Hope you're having a fantastic Thursday. We're almost in the weekend, dude. And, of course, Red Walrus's tag team partner tonight. It is King Undead, Joey Undead. You can check out Joey Undead right here on Twitch. Type in Joey Undead. Make sure you do a follow. A lot of cool-ass games that man plays. Uh, one of the best ones that he lays down, of course, is Resident Evil. Here we go. All right, what does it say? Uh, man, I wish you could do an eight-man ladder match for the belt. Would be nice. Um, not tonight, but we do it normally. Uh, let's see here. So, Nerdy, I missed it way earlier because my internet crapped out. Can I bug you for tips on Twitch and the bot and help? Yeah, you can always ask. If, if I can help you, if I can help anybody learning how to do this Twitch stuff, I will do it. I have no problem with it. Of course you can, Delve. Uh, just ask your questions. Maybe not like tonight, but um, you know, you can message me anytime. I'll, I'll walk you through it and see what I can do. Because everything in here, I've either, like, I've had to ask questions or I've just had to figure it myself. Freddy is a great help. Twisted's a great help. Uh, Lethal is a great help when it comes to trying to learn how to do these uh, behind the scenes mechanics, like the bot. Like, working on the bot, man, it was basically like, hey, Freddy, how do you do this? And he's like, I'm busy, bitch. And I'm like, come on, Freddy. He's like, you go here and do this. And I'm like, thanks, Freddy. Seeing your dreams, bitch. You know, like, Freddy knows what he's doing with this. Lethal knows. Twisted knows. Um, but Twisted knows the uh, the split side. But he can still give you great, twi uh, great um, help with it. No, not tonight. I'm too drunk. But Homebody never showed me anything, and he does it too fast. Uh, like he has to show me 30 times because he flies through it. I understand that. I understand. When, you, when you know what's going on, it's um, it's easier to just go -doo 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 and move it on. Um, but yeah, yeah. Like I said, I'll, I'll help. And um, you can always ask Twisted, Freddy, or Lethal. They, they know it. Um, is no help at all streaming knowledge 10 years plus out of date? Um, yeah, it's, it's, I mean... If you know how to do some of the stuff, it's awesome. But if you, if you're just trying to, man, YouTube tutorials help me out a lot with some of it. Like, uh, what was it? I think the money, like trying to do the money on here, the jizz bucks. I could not figure it out. Um, so I went to YouTube tutorial and it talked you through it. But sometimes they overshoot it. You know what I mean? Like they talk too far above your head rather than layman's terms. Up to chat, another drink or not? How many have you had? That's a better question. Uh, that's how you got fatality pregnant. Damn, j Dub's still hanging out. Appreciate you being here, man. All right, we got to get back to the match because this is who will take on Lethal and j Dub. Settle down, V-Twin. Joey Undead, Red Walrus just won an epic battle between Showtime and Dan Frode. Of course, Fizz Kid and Sunday have been melding perfectly as a team tonight. Nah, if you work tomorrow, there you go. Um, I don't know. Then the answer is no. Uh, Dell, does your mouth taste, taste like apples yet? I think Dell's mouth always tastes like apples. Uh, what happened was Twisted fed me butter cookies, and I got damn. <laughs> well, stay away from Dell. She's afraid of you now. Sunday heat taking Joey to the outside. 
This, of course, is for the Holiday Championship. I got to see Lethal myself defend the belt. I know, man. It has to be the epic conclusion of this. Taking almost three hours to get there. Sunday Heat taking it to Joey. Uh, all right. How about ideas for a bot name? All right. That's a better thing. I mean, mine, mine's Jizzbot or Jizzybot. I want it to be Jizzbot, but apparently some asshole already took Jizzbot. And I'm like, really? Like, that should be copyright on me. You know what I mean? Uh, so it's Jizzybot. Uh, Delbot, I mean, I, Delbot comes off, but you could probably be a little bit more creative, Trance. Come on, dude. I'm still here. Just got in the side. Uh, just got in the side until my match. Yep. That's fine. That's fine. What Are you playing? Are you, are you live streaming? What are you doing, Lethal? Double team action again. That big boot stomp. Use Rainbow Rain, Delve, seeing how it's already a character. Ah, twisted. I'm kind of doing the same. That's right. That's right. That means J-Dub's bored out of his mind, waiting for the real stuff to happen. Red Walrus working on Sunday Heat. Sunday Heat trying to crawl to the corner, but he's crawling to the wrong corner. Turns it around on him. Mine is undead. Undead buddy bot. Whoa. Spock following. Appreciate that, Spock. Does it have an end in bot? Uh, yeah, it has to end in bot. Um, but it was taken. And damn, it was a cruel world. Oh, that does suck. Uh, undead buddy. Yeah, I, I mean, the thing is, though, there's somebody out there with a jizz bot. You know what I mean? Like, like, how confident are you? Look at that crazy stretch right there from Fizz. Rolling over into a pin on Reed. One. Just a one. Like, how confident are you to name your bot Jizzbot? Rainbow Rain will be coming back when I get my new job because I have a set schedule. I mean, the Rainbow Rain bot, that sounds awesome. That's got a great thing. Uh, Jizzy's Jizzin' bot. <laughs> Could have sworn I selected the follow before. That's okay. That's okay, Spock. Don't worry about it, man. Fizz Kid working on red back and forth, back and forth. The heist has begun. Reed Wallace in the match. Joey Undead hanging out. Fizz Kid was here. Red trying to get to his corner. And he does. He tags in Joey. Joey's back in. Joey's coming in hot. And ooh, Fizz Kid sidesteps right there. Wow. Elbow to the face of Joey. One. Just a one count right there. Sunday Heat's feeling it. Trying to get the crowd behind Fizz Kid. Fizz Kid definitely dominating this. You can't do that high, J-Dub. Uh, if you use chatbot, you can name it whatever you want. Basically, you have to make an alt account on YouTube and Twitch. Yeah, that was the part I was having a lot of trouble with is uh, Chardonnay bot. Just a one count again. Yeah, whenever you make a bot, like the Jizz bot is a separate entire Twitch channel. You have to make an entire complete new channel for it with the name of your bot. So yeah, it's it's a big pain in the butt. It takes a while. It took me about, I want to say four hours to set up everything as far as the mini games, uh, the bot, all that stuff, getting it all synced to where it actually worked. It took a while. So you got to ded dedicate some time to it. That's why I have that other account, Official Twisted Sense on Twitch, 1000 limit, J-Dub. J-Dub doesn't conform to your rules, Red. You got to understand that. J-Dub does his own thing. Oh, double team. Look at this crazy fast double team action right there. Sunday Heat Fizz Kid feeling it. The hell? Doesn't it require its own email? Yes. Yes, it does. 100%. Yeah. But on YouTube, my bot is either Common Sense or Official Funko Bear. Per perfect. Joey, big kick right there. Put Try to put the lights out inside Sunday Heat. I mean, if you want to keep your stuff safe, you make an email. But you do you, Twisted. You do you. You do you, sir. You do you. Uh, it has begun. Casuals have fallen. They're going to share the loot. Oh, look at this. Red and show. You can make at least 10 accounts on the same email or phone number. Red Wall are screaming a bunch of nothings inside Joey Undead's ear. Big turnaround. The winner of this match will take on Lethal and J-Dub. Joey, bam, package right there, planning. Sunday Heat's neck right into the, right into the canvas. Joey takes down Fizz Kid, clapping on, bam.
Joey was about to grab the referee. Joey is focused on the wrong man. Why is Joey working on Finn's kid? I have never seen that. Sunday Heat was out. Look at this. Sunday Heat busted wide open. One, two. Fizz kids down. Ooh, damn. Ooh, damn, damn, damn. Red asking about the <coughs> claim his charitable donation. Bam, another one. Another super kick right there to Sunday Heat. Sunday Heat's bleeding profusely. I learned Red is Daniel Ocean of the high East. He always wins. Uh, who is your Ocean? Who's your uh, 12 members there, Red Walrus? We need to get an Ocean's 12 going on in here. We got we got to do it. It's Red's uh, Red's 12, Ocean's 12, Red Ocean's 12. I don't know, something like that. Sunday Heat finally back up to his feet, trying to take down Joey, the Walrus 12. Sunday Heat, listening to Fizz Kids ramblings right there. You know it's going to be. Now, right, listen here. What you do is you take the telephone and then you wrap it around your leg and then you take four steps down the stairs and then you take five steps back up the stairs, but there's not that fifth step up top. And then, boom, right there, there's a kitty for you to pet. Make sure you pet the kitty. Otherwise, the kitty's not going to ever come back to you. And then you're going to have to. Oh, no, it's time to get back. He's coming back up. Oh, bam! The Tusk 12, that's better. Red Tide's good, Blood Ocean. I like Tusk 12. Going for that pan. One, two, Red Walrus breaks it up. Fizz Kid couldn't get to him fast enough. Sunday Heat trying to take down Red Walrus says, no, 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 stop interrupting my time. Fizz Kid stops. Why did Fizz Kid stop Sunday Heat from taking out Red Walrus? Ocean 11 was more successful than Ocean 12. Fewer injuries and people caught. Yeah, good point. Check out Liswitz. Make sure you do it. Big clothesline. Thanks, Fizz. Yeah, that was weird, right? Oh, the Tusk 12 pack. Tusk 12 pack? I like that too. That's great. Red Walrus is down. Joey is by himself. Fizz Kid is up. Sunday Heat is up. It's all down to Joey right now. No! Sunday Heat reverses into a bulldog. Right now, Joey is all alone. Can King Undead do what he does best and win this match? Or is a two on one just too damn much? Watch, play, win. Uh, thanks, I came up with my by myself. Yes, you did. Uh, the 12 pack is so abominable. Sunday Heat going for that patented off the top row. Big Alabama slammer from the top. Going for the pin. Red not in position. One, two, red. Ooh. Ooh, that was so close. That was so close. Tusk 12 pack. Uh, have that beer. Yeah, J Dubs. Wow, that was so close. Joey just barely kicked out. Sunday Heat doesn't know what it takes to put away Joey. Abdominable. Ah, oh, there you go. Cheer. Cheers to beers. Double team. Big boot taking Joey off his feet. Red Walrus is back up trying to get that tag. Joey tags in red. Red Walrus and Fizz Kids squaring off. Sunday Heat's up, but he's bleeding. Fizz Kid looking for something big. Red Walrus is up. Oh, Fizz Kid catches him off guard. Package. Boom. Folded up. Right there in the corner. Red Walrus with the cheers to the beers of the tusk. With the musk. Going for that pin. Joey's not there. Red. One. Two. Red Walrus kicks out. This is for the championship match. Fizz Kid. Sunday Heat. Red Walrus. Joey Undead. Who is going to take this to the fight? Who is going to take it all the way to Lethal and J-Dub? Let's go, Red and Joey. Red and a pin and predicament again. Joey's up. Two. Red Walrus kicks out. Joey wouldn't have been help anyway. Uh, cheers and cheers, cheers, cheers. There you go. Good job, Spock. Fizz Kid trying to get the crowd behind him. Red Walrus in a bad position. Red Walrus is getting is, is just getting taken. Uh, lots of cheers going on there. The cops are giving up. Time for another heist if you guys want to do it. Or you can boss battle. You guys want to take on a couple of the bosses we got up in here. James Spader. Nerdy Sanchez. No, that's trans. Never mind. Bam! Big shoulder block. Takes Fizz Kid off his feet. Might have knocked the wind out of him. Joey's trying to get it back up. Red Walrus got him in that camel clutch. Oh, he's sitting down. 550 pounds laying on the back of Fizz. And Fizz is going to stretch him out. Mount Red. Mount. Fizz Kid and Sunday Heat have definitely been dominating right now. They've been dominating this whole match. Can they keep it up? Take themselves to the championship. Rolls it around. Fizz Kid quick to the 
point right there, taking down red. Points. Spock's got 760. Heist for 30. He does like the heist. Red trying to frame him up. Red sending him to no man's land. Fizz Kid's in a bad place right now. Red just going to slam the fist right into his face. Heist 760. No one likes the boss. I guess not. Look at this big double team. Bam! Joey from the top. Oh, my God. Wow. Wow. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Dude. Dude. Joey going for it. All oh, Fizz Kid not moving. Joey going for the guy liner. Bam. Perfectly pressed. Going for it. One. Two. And Sunday Heat breaks up the guy liner right at the end of it. Dude. That was it. That double team move right there should have put an end to Fizz Kid, but Red didn't go in to stop Sunday Heat. Sunday Heat stopped it in motion. What difficulty is AI versus AI settings on? I think it's uh, medium. I don't think it's I don't think it's hard. I think it's medium, but it's enough to make a good decent match. Sunday saved the day, 100%. Sunday Heat just saved it for Fizz Kid because he was not getting up. Joey hit after that double team move. Joey hit his finisher. Big boot time, little boot time. Bam, Fizz Kid's bleeding. Both members, Fizz Kid and Sunday Heat bleeding. Joey and Red are not. It is down to it. Is the blood going to be a fatiguing factor in this or can Fizz Kid and Sunday Heat overcome this bout? It has begun. Few casualties. And looks like uh, Red 2000, Undefined Dime 60, J Dub 2000. Arena's been cleaned, boss fight ready to go. Bam! Fizz Kid turns it around for the championship. They all want it. Sunday Heat would love to have the gold. Red Walrus would love to be redeemed. King Joey would love another one. Look at this double team move! Wow, shot by security guard. No, going for that pin. The ref not in position. Joey's not even caring. Two. It's over. Joey did not even try to break up that hellacious double team move. I cannot believe it. The way that Joey and Red melded the entire time and then right at the end, Joey just did not have the energy to run in there and save Red Walrus. Wow. So close. Bam. Rip. Got distracted, man. Got distracted. I mean, you look at it, the blood and sweat is all over Sunday Heat and Fizz Kid. Those dudes won the tournament. They are going on and they will face Lethal and J-Dub for the Holiday Championship. The team melded, they worked together, they fought their way all the way to the end and they have earned their spot. Red Walrus and Joey have nothing to be ashamed about, but they are your winners. Hope Lethal and J-Dub wins. Fizz Kid doesn't deserve another title. Damn. That's, um, damn. Hellacious match tonight, though. Th those were all good. There we go. Of course, you can see who they went through. Uh, they beat Twisted and Delic. There you go, Twisted. So there we go. Um, Let's see, who was it? So somebody asked for a ladder match. We'll do a ladder match. They were pushed to the limit. There we go. Oh, no. Hang on, hang on. Hang on. Shit. Let's go back. Let's do TLC. Title match on... Okay, all right, so it's time to uh, lock it in.
That's right, the barbecue pit. I could not think of their tag team name. All right, here we go. Your superstars are all 84. Yes, every single one of them, the male and the female, they are all 100% uh, 84. What's going on, Jordy? Appreciate you so, thank you so much, man. Thank you so much for that. I, I'm not used to it being in the chat down there. That's why I always lean over to look. Uh, but thank you so much, Jordy. Appreciate that. How you doing tonight on this Thursday night? Yeah, I, I made everybody an even kill 84. It doesn't matter who you are. If you're the world champ, you're 84. If you're the bottom guy in the totem pole, you're 84. And the reason I do that is because I want the statistics and everything to be a little bit askew. Like, Sunday Heat may have, like, an 84 strength, and Fizz Kid may have a 64 strength. But everything's a little different. It's tiered differently, so all the superstars perform differently in the ring. I don't know if it's a bad thing or not. I don't know if they should all be 100 and all be the exact same thing with just different move sets. I don't know, but I've always had it at 84. Um, but yeah, thank you so much, Jordy. Hope you're having a great day. It is o almost over. It's 10.30 here, which, damn, I was hoping to be done, but I don't know if this match is going to be 15 minutes. Uh, the cops are going, a skidoo the askew. There you go. A skidoo. Oop. A skidoo. A skidoo. Here we go. Four thirty, damn. So it is Friday. Anaheim. He does have one belt around his waist right now. That is Fizz Kid, and he is the Canadian Beaver Champion right now. Fizz Kid would love nothing more than to add the Holiday Championship gold around his waist tonight and be the first time in his career he has held two championships at the same time. 8.30 p.m., Reno, Nevada. You're from Reno? I've always wanted to go to Reno, and I'll tell you why. The movie The Wizard, I, ever since that, the biggest little city, I've always wanted to go to Reno. I don't know. Is it amazing? Is it? Is it just like I pictured? Same time here, heroes. Born here. Fizz Kids tag team partner all the way from Philadelphia. That is Mr. Sunday Heat. Sunday Heat is a rookie as far as SCW goes. And that man would love to have his very first championship tonight. He gets that opportunity. Time for another fun fact from J-Dub. Let's hear it, J-Dub. How you doing, Progressive? How the fuck you doing, man? Um... That's what I was thinking, Jizzy. Damn. Oh, from Wizard? Yeah. Where in a spa in Asia that you get a tube full of oil? What? Reno is the biggest little city in the world. It was probably how you pictured back until about 2008-ish. There are some bones remaining. Uh, but it's more like Vegas these days. Oh man, so it's not like the, it's not like the small little. Oh, that, is it still awesome though? Here we go. They are the barbecue pit, the team of Lethal and J-Dub. They team so damn much that they have their own entrance and everything together. They are fashionably stylish, and they are your holiday tag team champions. Little Puppet, thank you so much for that follow, Little Puppet. Hope you're having a fantastic Thursday. 
We have some great uh, events like Hot August Nights, Balloon Races, and Rolling Thunder. I want to do a balloon race. Reno has the title Biggest Little City in the World. Yeah, uh, that's what uh, J-Dub just facted. Here we go. You guys get to see the championships rolling through. How do you feel about Shane versus Miz? I don't really want to see it. I don't either. There they are. Bam! Holiday Championship. They, of course, they are hanging above the ring. This is a TLC match. I never skip your message, Progressive. Settle down. Settle. 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 Uh, thank you for the confirmation. There you go. Uh, I'm watching the Grand Tour, and they're in Asia. And Clark Clarkson was a tube that's full of oil. I'm so lost. I am so lost on that one, V-Twin. I don't even know where to begin with that. I have no answer. In fact, I'm just going to stare off to the screen for a while until I feel better about reading that. I need to call this match, so just pretend I'm still staring off there. I love you too, Progressive. I saw it. You just got to let me get to it. We've got this tag team match going on on the outside. J-Dub working on Fizz Kid. Of course, Lethal working on Sunday Heat. Mmm, oil. Thank you, Fatality. How was the lasagna, dude? Did it come out perfect? Lethal trying to take out the knees of Sunday Heat. The cohesive tag team. Of course, the uh, half-naked bros of J-Dub and Lethal. I'm saying tub, not tube. I mean, let's be honest. An oil tub and an oil tube are basically the same amount of information of, I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, don't you lamal at me. V-Twin wins random comment of the night. Do more random than fit. Don't doubt, man. I mean, like, just bringing it up. This random, I said tube, he said tub, doesn't fix what I don't know. <laughs> you're looking at it and trying to explain it to me. Hell yeah, good lasagna. Awesome. I want some. Make it snappy. Fizz Kid working on J-Dub, and of course Sunday Heat working on Lethal. Lethal up top. Uh, Lethal wanting to be as oily as Red Walrus, but uh, Red Walrus just pretty much absorbs oil. But not as much oil as is that's in that tub in Asia. Am I right, V-Twin? High five. Come on. Uh, I'm using... I see. I don't know what that is. I, I, don't, I don't know what Bechamel sauce is. I have no idea. Finally, everybody's back in the ring. That table is set up. Don't you lol. Don't you lol. Of course, you know that this is uh, the shirtless boys going against Fizz Kid and Sunday Heat. That table's still set up. A uh, hot tub where? Apparently, it's in Asia. So you got to go to Asia. Oh, J Dub's up on the table. Fizz Kid. Oh, I thought Fizz Kid was going to do some kind of crazy springboard. Instead of putting J Dub through a table, Fizz Kid's just going to like grab his nipples a couple times. And the petrol station called Turd Petrol in Asia. You know, I don't think I get to say this too often to you, V-Twin, but go to your room. Nah, not, not really, Trance. Both members of Team Barbecue Pit getting a ladder at the same time. J-Dub is going to ascend the ladder, and he's got his hands around the belt. Sunday Heat trying to stop him. Lethal's trying to stop Sunday Heat, and it seems like he's doing a good job. Fizz Kid pushes the ladder out from under. Whatever I want, apparently. Oh, quick low blow right there. Sunday Heat taken down. Oh, again. And V-Twin continues to win the award. Yeah. I don't know, but the holiday championships are on the line. Sunday Heat gets his opportunity to hold SCW going for the first time tonight. Can he get it done with his partner, Fizz Kid, who does have the Canadian Beaver Championship right now? Is a white sauce and one of mother sauces. I made a cheese sauce with it called Monterey Culinary Words. I'll explain it to you. Thank you. Thank you. Lethal taking down Fizz Kid. Do you think it's a possibility to include a section of the Hall of Fame where wrestlers that never compete in the WWE would you like to see? They would never do it. They, they would never take Vince. Vince would never let anything in. Uh, that was never part of him. You're not going to get some dude that was part of NWA that never set foot in the WWF. It'll never happen. Oh, my God. j with a chair to the back of Fizz Kid's head. That's what j says. Do not touch my tag team oily partner. You will get this chair. Boy. Lethal trying to distract Fizz Kid, and j is going to try to climb that ladder. I think some are deserving. I agree. There's a lot that are deserving, but it's not going to happen. He, Vince will never allow it to happen. 
Now, maybe when Triple H takes over or something like that, it might, but as far as Vince, he won't let it. Fizz Kid goes directly for J-Dub. J-Dub stops it. Big putt, putt, power bomb. Sends him down. Sunday Heat throws a table at Lethal. Lethal ignores it. Just goes straight for the ladder. Uh, fucking fatality. Joey Undead and Red Walrus were almost in this final match, but Sunday Heat uh, prevailed in that. Fizz Kid still down. Lethal is ascending the ladder for the first time. J-Dub tosses a ladder on Fizz Kid for good measure. Lethal's got his hands around that championship. It might be over. It might be over if Sunday Heat can get to his feet. It Sunday Heat trying to stop Lethal. J-Dub working more on Fizz Kid. Lethal just slowly comes down the ladder. It's better being thrown off. He's being safety first. Never stand above the top two rungs of a ladder. Lethal understands that. Not getting thrown off the ladder. Easy come, easy go. Big clothesline. Taking down Sunday Heat in the corner. Fizz Kid's down on the outside. Lethal's got a ladder. Knocks out Sunday Heat. J-Dub playing perfect defenseman right there. Keeping a handle on Fizz Kid while Lethal sets up that ladder and going to ascend it. Lethal's going up. J-Dub, oh, gets rocked by Fizz Kid on the outside. Fizz Kid's trying to get up there to stop Lethal from getting that tag team championship down. And he dies. Fizz Kid is up there. What is the Spanish dude's name? Ultimo Dragon. I would love to see him in the section. I don't, yeah, Ultimo is only WCW. Uh, but, I mean, granted, Vince, big power bomb. Vince does own WCW, and I know that he has entered WCW alumni. So he may bring in Ultimo Dragon. Check out Liswitz. Sunday Heat trying to get up there. No, J-Dub stops it. J-Dub going to toss Sunday Heat off. And here comes Fizz Kid. J-Dub trying to do the work and trying to get it done. Lethal still starting on the outside, not doing a whole bunch. J-Dub still trying to hold on, trying to get that title down. Fizz Kid throwing a rotator cuff, punching J-Dub so hard. J-Dub. Oh, and crashes off the top. Sunday Heat is down. J-Dub rolling to the outside. Lethal is down. Fizz Kid, the only one left standing in the ring. Fizz Kid is ascending the ladder. He's got his hands on the belt, but here comes Lethal and J-Dub. Lethal's just going to stand there picking Lynn out of his belly button. That was really weird. Everybody else can see that. Lethal pushes the ladder out. Fizz Kid will not get the championship this time around. Big power bomb from up there. Oh, meets the ladder face first. Lethal trying to do some damage, but J-Dub wants to do more with that ladder. Sunday Heat stirring at the back. J-Dub needs to set the ladder up and stop worrying about Fizz Kid. He's trying to hurt him. J-Dub is trying to hurt Fizz Kid tonight. Lethal trying to play interference. No, swapping ladders. Heist. Oh, 12-pack. Wow. A whole lot just went down right there. Everybody sort of crashed and burned. J-Dub up, over and out. Lethal working on Sunday Heat. Fizz Kid, the only one left in the ring. Oh! Lethal just busted open Sunday Heat. Uh, fuck you, my sweatpants and shirt and Lindy bitch. Oh, look at the Fizz Kid. He's got his hands on the belt. Fizz Kid is trying to get it done. Lethal trying to get in there to stop him. Lethal's trying to stop him. Uh, Sunday Heat is out on his feet. J-Dub trying to get in the way. Lethal stops Fizz Kid. I had no idea he competed for WCW. I just read he actually competed for WWE as well. I was released. He was a strong possibility. Ultimo Dragon? I don't remember him wrestling in WWE. I thought it was just WCW, but I could be wrong. I don't know. Sunday Heat going for the big move on J-Dub. Lethal got that ladder set up. J-Dub just crashed in that ladder with the superplex. Sunday Heat going for it all. And, oh, he stops the chair. This could be it. This could be the turning point. This could be it. Sunday Heat could win it for the whole team right now. Sunday Heat tosses out Lethal. Lethal bounces right back because it's rigged. Oh, Lethal busted wide open. Fizz Kid down. J-Dub down. Lethal's bleeding profusely. Sunday Heat climbing the ladder. Sunday Heat's got his hands around the belt. And he is slowly going up, rocking the ladder. Oh, just a fight at the top. Big chest slaps. Oh, it's double team action by the barbecue pit. Double team and Sunday Heat crashes. Lethal's all alone at the top. Fizz Kid is down. Sunday Heat being taken care of by J-Dub. Boss 1000. 
Lethal trying to get the belts undone. J-Dub going out to work on Fizkid, but Fizkid's going to slide in, try to get up the ladder before Lethal can get the belt down, and it's not going to happen. Once again, the Barbecue Pit retains the Holiday Championship. Damn. Wow. Wow. Wow, what a dominant force Lethal and J-Dub have become. That is two successful title defenses back to back. Damn. We run the holidays. Wow. Sunday Heat and Fizz Kid put up one hell of a fight. I need to look at something now that I think about this. Where was that? Yeah. Two hours, 45 minutes. You called it. Apparently I did. Wow. So there we go, and still holiday champions for another month, J-Dub and Lethal C5K. The belts remain again. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. We will see you next time for more SCW action. So interesting fact for you guys. The first tag team champions was Twisted and Dan, and then the second one was Lethal and J-Dub. The third one to make it to the end of the finals, does anybody remember who that was? Does anybody remember who the who the last team that J-Dub and Lethal beat to retain the titles? Does anybody remember? Unable to find a suitable boss? Damn. Ladders, friends. All right, man. Here, I appreciate you hanging out. Let me see here. Uh, not leaving. Wasn't it Listy and Thumbelina? No, it wasn't. Listy didn't make it. Listy didn't make it. Um, <laughs> Lettuce peeps, good game. Undefined die. Appreciate you hanging out for as long as you did, man. Um, yeah. So last time, Lethal and J Dub successfully defended against Achilles Twitch and Fizz Kid. That is Fizz Kid's second time to the championship match, and he did not win twice back to back. That's I just, I have the I have the previous results so I know that's crazy, that's crazy to think about that Fizzkid was in the finals last time and this time, uh, it was a previous series it was a previous series it was about a month ago when we did this that blows my mind that absolutely blows my mind Thumbelina get your ass <laughs> fatality we missed that man uh, all right guys I am a hundred percent out of here um, I really appreciate everybody's hung out. Uh, especially for the long time you've been here, man. Two hours, almost three solid hours. It always goes this way. Uh, but yeah, the Holiday Championship successfully defended by Lethal and J-Dub. Absolutely crazy. Um, tomorrow's stream is still kind of up in the air. The normal stream time, 6 p.m. Central Time, is still up in the air because I know I'm going to have to work all weekend. So it, it's all up in the air. If I'm here, then it's good. And if not, you guys were fair warned. But sooner or later, we're going to come back to the full nerdy effect uh, stream where it's every single day. Uh, but it's at least going to be one more week where it's still kind of sketchy on. Uh, so anyway, thank you guys so much for being here. I'm going to give you guys a nerd circle. <clears throat> make sure you guys follow the host. If you like who's being host, make sure you drop them a follow. But at least give them a couple minutes. Uh, let them do their thing because I don't host just anybody. I, hope, I host people who uh, are awesome, like-minded, and we can all just uh, grow this NC. Because it's not me. It's you guys. You're the ones that do this. It's not me. So thank you guys so much. Bye, J-Dub. Later, guys. And uh, Nerd Circle.